Hello, hello, hello. How's everyone doing today? I hope everyone's having an excellent Friday. Happy TGIF. I hope everybody's ready for more Resident Evil. I know I am. Um, I'm trying to remember, the last time we played, we did so many, like, super complicated puzzles that I thought we were going to be stuck on for, like, ever. Um, and we ended up going outside of the mansion. We're in, like, this weird dark forest garden labyrinth. I don't even know what to call it, honestly. Um, there was a couple puzzles we had to do to get, like, gates opened, and we ended up coming to, like, a hunter shack? I'm assuming? I don't really know what it is, but there was some sort of creature chilling in the bathroom. Wasted all my fucking bullets on whatever it was, and it seems to be unkillable, so I pretty much feel defeated. <laughs> hey, Tails, how's it going? Oh my god, I was just telling them how we ran into that creature last time we were playing Resident Evil. I don't know what it is. It's like Quasimodo, or like a hunchback, or... I I can't even tell if it's male or female, honestly, but I wasted all my shotgun shells into it, and it just kind of ate them and said, can I have another? So I'm not going to do that again. I've got pretty good ink ribbons so we can save. Um, and I don't think we really have too many quest items we still have to use to get further into the game, so... Um, we still need one key for the main house. <laughs> oh my god, Katrina. <laughs> How are you? Oh my goodness. So I think I only have like 15 bullets for the pistol. Maybe not even that much. So there's going to be a lot of me running around like crazy. And I've also never played this game, so I'm just expecting to rage at it. And I guess all of the bosses for Resident Evil 1 are, like, at the end of the game. And I've always assumed, like, because I've played Resident Evil 5, um, it's, like, boss, 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 and then, like, the last boss. And they're like, no. So now I'm scared to even, like, shoot my gun because I might just end up at the end game and not have any bullets. And then we're just gonna die. Also, that giant snake from before, apparently he's not dead either, so I'll have to wait for that. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Katrina, do you need me to call for, like, medical attention? Are you okay? Tails, what do you think? You think this is a 911? What should we do? Maybe a 411? <laughs> what did you eat, Katrina? Sounds like you had some really bad uh, Taco Bell. Oh my god, I hope you feel better. Maybe some antacid. I don't know. These zombies might uh, upset your stomach a little bit. Oh my goodness. Tails, what, do, what should we do? What's the call? We gotta get Katrina some help. Ugh, I love that opening cutscene. It's so good. I have no idea, Tails. I can't even tell if it's real or not. <laughs> Does it spook you? What do you think? Are you getting are you getting vibes from it? Let's see. Okay, we're oh we're in the cabin. That's what it is. The cabin in the woods. <laughs> well, I you got to share your story, Knight. How do you feel? <laughs> it made me laugh. So, oh my goodness. Yeah, I was gonna say I don't really know. I'm gonna kind of default on tails for that one. All right, let's see. I'm, I'm gonna have to take a second because the controls in this game are so wonky just to kind of get resituated so we don't just die instantly. Okay, that's how we do the mumbo number five. I didn't forget how to do the Chris step. But I need to figure out how we're gonna kill this zombie. Okay, that's inventory. Alright, so no shotgun, six ribbons, one first aid spray, a knife, and some kind of crank. Which I think we have to use in the fountain section. There's some kind of like giant fountain in the middle of the house. Um, and a water puzzle, so I'm going to try it there. Let's see. It looks like no one's used it in a long time. Well, obviously somebody was using it because there was someone in this house. Uh, let me put my ink ribbons away. Hang on. Where's my chest in this place? I don't even remember. Oh, here it is. Hmm. I don't have handgun or shotgun. 
I literally wasted all my bullets. I feel stupid. We'll find more, though. So I'm just going to run around, and I have my knife. I'm just going to put all these away so we can find bullets. Mm, maybe I'll bring the pistol with me. It's more likely we'll find pistol bullets. All right, let's do this. Oh my god, Tails, are you really? Are you gonna do, like, a full 360, like, go-kart? Or are you gonna do, like, the... I've been to a couple places where it's, like, go-karts, arcade, pizza, uh, and laser tag. That was one of my favorite birthdays I ever went to, as uh, one of my best friends invited me to his birthday, and we did go-karts, which I was terrified of. I was, I was like, I didn't want to drive, I've never been in a car before, and they're like, yeah, get in the fucking cart, like, it's a gas-piled machine, go run into a wall... And I was shitting myself, but once I got through that first round and I started going, I fucking loved it. I had so much fun. And we went from there to laser tag into, like, fucking pizza, and then we were at the arcade with, like, unlimited plays. It was, like, the best fucking day ever. So I'm, you're gonna have tons of fun. And do donuts around her, oh my god. And they have axe throwing. Go-karts. Oh my god, that's awesome. Oh, you have the magnet ones. Yeah, the magnet ones are the ones that they have that stick that, like, connects to the ceiling and they spark whenever you go. Um, they have a really satisfying sound uh, when you start them up. I don't exactly know how they work, but uh, I've been in a couple. And I appreciate whoever came up with that, so we have a way to get our aggression out and just bump into people. Because, like, we can't do that in real life. You'll go to prison, but at the go-kart track, or, like, when you're with your uh, significant other... And you do that ride, you know exactly what you're going to do. You're going to run right into him. You want to hit him as hard as you can against the wall. Wait, you're doing ones that... Oh, never mind, Tails. Then I don't know which ones you're doing. I've only seen two. I've seen the ones with the motors, and I've seen the electric ones at, like, the carnival. That are, like, connected to the ceiling. Oh my god, they have battery-powered ones now? That's awesome. Shoot, I don't even know. They could be probably full power. Battery technology has come a long way. So they might be, like, full-powered. I'm excited. You'll have to tell me how fast. Or how fast they accelerate and everything. Okay, there's clearly someone out here. I just can't see him. Oh, Mr. Zombie. I don't have bullets for you. What is this? Trash on the floor? What does this mean? Yeah, but 25 miles per hour, like, going and 25 miles per hour being hit are, like, two different numbers. So I'm sure you'll tell me if it feels like you're getting a good bump or if it's just a little love tap. When I was hit with those gas-powered ones, holy shit, my body went from, like, the right side of the car to the left. Like, thankfully I was a kid. If I did that now, I think my back would break. Okay, I don't know where this guy is. Let's see. Unless he's stalking me. Maybe he's in the woods? He's always in my ear, this zombie. He just never wants to show his face. He's always saying shit in the background. Come on out, zombie. I don't care that I don't have any bullets. <laughs> oh my gosh. Does she know what she's getting into? Holy shit. Dude. Okay. I'm gonna... Somebody said just kind of do that and run. Like, I don't have bullets, and he's right in the way to the house. I have to knife fight this bitch. Oh my god, the camera angles. Hang on. I got you. This is how you do a knife fight. Run! Okay, I messed that up. Holy shit. Okay, we're not fighting here. Fight me, uh... Yeah, fight me by this tree. Oh shit, never mind. Okay, fight me over here. Yeah. I think I can see him now. Oh, no. Messed that up. They don't have any stagger, so you have to line your knife up perfectly so you hit, and then you can walk away. Because if you sit there and they don't stagger, they just hug you, you take a fuck ton of damage like that. Fuck you, bitch. Motherfucking Chris Redfield. I practiced this shit. Fuck you. Alright. Do I have any kerosene? I don't even fucking have any kerosene. So this guy's gonna come back as a redhead. Which I found out is a thing, and I'm not too happy about it. I might go check my uh, container and see if I've got any gas. Uh, let's see. She's never... Oh my god, she's never been carting. Oh my god, this would be so fun. Uh, you drive a big go-kart as your actual car. Oh my gosh. 
Do you know that they have, I think it's only in Japan right now, because obviously like Nintendo, but they have actual go-kart places in Japan where it's like you're in a go-kart from like Mario Kart or Mario Kart 64, and uh, you throw shells, and like blue, there's blue shells, red shells, green shells, and then every time you hit someone, it registers, it's like magnetized or something, and you keep score, and you can go for time, damage, distance all this stuff and then you just like go have a nice dinner after like i'm jealous i my god can you make a better date than that my goodness irl mario kart all right i'm kind of impressed i killed this guy uh with a knife never done that before all right let's go see if we can burn him yeah i'm like i'm gonna go there they have all kinds of like really crazy mario stuff like in japan that i didn't even know was a thing you can stay at, like, a Nintendo hotel, there's, like, cat cafes, um, IRL Mario parks, like, it's nuts. It's definitely on my list, like, I want to go to Japan. Um, and now they're starting to realize that, like, foreigners are coming over, so they're actually accommodating tall people. Because if I went to Japan, like, 10 or 15 years ago, I wouldn't fit in the hotel room, I wouldn't be able to use the shower. I'd probably hit my head on a lot of, like, older buildings, like, in the door frame. And when I was sleeping, my feet would probably stick out, like, to my knee. And then finally, they're like, okay, all these foreigners are coming. They're taller. We gotta change some stuff around. I'm like, thank you so much for thinking of me. Because I'm coming. Um, oh, wait, it's over here. That's right. Open this. Can you fit in them, Tails? Like, I love them. Like, I love the how much gas mileage and stuff that they get. Oh, I don't have any gas. God damn it. I don't even have gas. We're in a really low spot right now. All I have is a wind crest and, like, one green herb and a serum that I don't know if I even need and a crank. I can't burn him. I'm going to bring this and hope that we find some. I don't know where any gas is right now, I have to be honest. All right, well... Let's hope he doesn't just come back and camp my fucking spawn as a redhead. Redheads are, like, near impossible to kill with a knife. They're just so fast. Shit. Oh, yeah, definitely. Like, once you've been in a car or, like, a truck where, like, it's 37 miles, like, or it feels like, you know, one mile is, like, 37 gallons of gas, and then you get into an actual, like, fuel-efficient car, it, like, changes your life. Do I have a map of this place? Oh, I do. Okay. So this is... We have to go back this way. Alright. Gonna look for gas. But I turned in my... Uh, I was driving a Volt for about three years, I think. I had, like, a lease for it. And I turned my car in, and it shows you a report of, like, how many miles you did with gas versus electricity. And I think I ended with, like... 11 miles of gas after three years and those 11 miles were me having to turn my car's engine on with the auto start and run it to heat up the engine so the battery could work and i was like i feel like i feel like a superhero it's like i definitely cut my carbon footprint down but i do it it's just they're so expensive if they could get electric vehicles down to what gas cars are that'd be a no-brainer like, I never had to use gas. I would just charge it, like, at the end of the day. And then even in the winter is when I would use, like, a little bit of gas. Because you have to heat the, the motor up to a certain level for the battery to work. I don't think so. Did that just, like, did it just come out? A large statue stands silently in the darkness. I don't know who that is. Looks like a female. Oh shit, what is this? Oh my god, it's opened? Oh my god, it's actually open, Tails. We don't need something to get this open. Are you kidding me? Ugh! The fuck is that? Oh, it's these goddamn crows that sound like dogs. Whatever. I don't give a shit, bitch. Caw at me all you want. Oh, we're in a graveyard. So that's what this is. There's a graveyard in the backyard of this house? Like, who the fuck's house is this? 
This is definitely like a secret facility. Okay, so now we're there. Alright, we need to go back and find something in the graveyard. Maybe that Lisa girl? The one that has a photo of her? Uh, let's see. It's a new uh, electric vehicle company that makes a sedan. No, I have no idea, Tails. I have not heard of them. I know that like a lot of the uh, like Ford, GM, uh, Tesla, they were going through a whole list. They've all switched their plans for the future to be electric. Which I'm excited for, honestly. There's something carved into the indentation. Two vertical lines across and three horizontal lines. Could it be some kind of symbol? Uh, two lines across and a three lines. Could it be some kind of symbol? Okay, this all... I, I The only idea I possibly have is maybe that the two doors that lead into the basement, they had umbrella symbols. But I don't remember two, three cross. But it had like a thing with shards that I could like turn around, I think. Okay, interesting. Oh wait, is this the wind symbol? What is this? There's something written in the indentation. When the wind sweeps across the earth, stars will shine in the heavens. Oh my god, I know where to put the fucking wind symbol. I'll be right back, bitches. Fuck off, crow. Oh, you can scare him off if you take the knife off. Yeah, yeah fuck off. Fuck off. Oh, shit, no, that pisses him off. Alright, fine, we're scrapping. Come here, bird. I'm gonna swipe the fuck out of you. Alright, he... Okay, whoa! Look at these bit... Okay, get me out of here. God, crows are assholes. Uh, there's also another company called Rivian that released an electric truck. I did hear about the truck. I know that Tesla's also trying to do, like, autonomous electric trucks. Which I'm excited for, but they have to implement it correctly. Uh, never thought the day would come where I could relax at home while watching you. <laughs> hey, Nate, how's it going? Oh my god, do you actually have a, a day off, Nate? Are you relaxing? You and uh, Tails would get along perfectly because you both work incredibly hard at your jobs. Um, I just got a lead, uh, Nate. I think I know where to use the wind symbol. It's somewhere in the graveyard. Um, but I have to get back to this crazy-ass house and pick it up. And there's a dead guy at the door that I knifed to death. Because I don't have any bullets. So I literally had to turn into Rambo. So it's not going the best for us, but at least we have a lead on a puzzle. Oh, you had an early day at work. Oh, that's awesome. Um, do you still plan on doing more uh, Zelda later, Nate? Because I am definitely ready to hang out for Zelda. Yeah, this is the guy that I need to find kerosene for. He's just gonna fucking ruin my life. I probably have like six hours till he goes postal on my ass. Turns into the Chukacabra guy. A.K.A. the redhead. Oh, awesome. It's really good. Like, I'd say the first temple that you did is, like, the only temple in the game where they, like, hold your hand. And then, boom, as soon as you go into the fire temple, you're gonna be like, what the shit did I walk into? And I'm ready for it. There's so much crazy-ass bullshit. But we'll get you through. Like, we already almost got you a bottle, so you're gonna at least have some milk. Possibly a fairy. Um, and people have been giving you heart pieces, too, so you'll have a little bit more HP, so that's good. Just gotta get your ruby game up, get you a bomb bag. Probably fix your shield, it's probably not gonna last very long. <laughs> but it's super fun. You'll discover all kinds of crazy stuff. Where the fuck is the box in this place? I get so turned around, and the box is all... Okay, there it is. All the way in the back. Here we go. The wind crest. Give it to me. I am like the wind, and I know where to go. I read a poem, I know where it goes. <laughs> oh no! Everybody save Royal, she's getting eaten by a zombie! Oh wait, I don't have any fucking bullets because I wasted them on a Frankenstein monster that's immortal. Oh my god. Royal, I'm coming! I have a knife! Oh shit, we're gonna lose Royal. Oh my god. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> I wish I had bullets for you, Royal. I would come back every time. At this point, I'm just gonna throw my knife at one of them and hope it helps. Maybe you can pull it out of his head and, like, save yourself? Ugh. Oh my god, Nate, what do you got? Do you have a Baconator? Please tell me you have a Baconator. 
Or like that chicken ranch sandwich that's amazing. Like, people give Wendy's shit for their new fries. If they come out and they're hot, they're kind of better than McDonald's. I'm gonna say it. I know. I know it's controversial. People are, like, gonna start throwing tables in the chat. Yeah, Wendy's changed their fries, Royal. They went from, like, a McDonald's-style fry to, like, the back of the fry has potato on it. And they're very good. Oh, shit. You got a triple? Oh, my God. Okay, I can tell this story because you'll probably laugh, Nate, but when I was, like, 11 years old, my grandpa was babysitting me. And he's like, all right, let's go to Wendy's because uh, you like Wendy's, right? And I was like, yeah, I fucking love Wendy's. Let's go. So I'm all excited. He's like, all right, uh, what does your mom usually buy you from Wendy's? And I'm like, I think it's that double thing with the cheese and all the bacon. And he's like, what? She gives you a double bacon, whatever the hell it's called? And I was like, yeah, I think that's the one. He's like, okay, if that's what she gets you. So he fucking buys it for me. And I devour this sandwich because in my mind, I just got like a super secret surprise. Oh my god, Tails, thanks so much for that resub. You're amazing. Oh my god. Um, But I, I ate it right in front of him. I ate the whole thing. And what I normally would get is the little kid's menu burger. And I ate the whole thing in front of him without batting an eye. So he's like, I guess I did the right thing. <laughs> My grandpa still tells that story because I, like, swindled him out of a, a Wendy's order. But I don't regret it at all. It was fucking... I felt like I won that day. I was like, I'm going to tell him I'll eat that. And I don't even eat that, but it looks really good. My mom never gets it for me, so I'm going to do that. And it was super good. And I've been hooked on Wendy's ever since, let's be honest. Yeah, basically, yeah. That was the day I was like, hey, now... I think I can I think I can get a bigger sandwich out of this. <laughs> Ugh, you're amazing, Tails. I appreciate you. I appreciate everyone in chat. You guys are all super awesome. Um Okay, wait, we got the crest. Alright, so I need to go to the graveyard, but I still don't have any bullets, so we might still be screwed. But you guys would be proud of me. I literally stabbed a zombie to death and it took eight hits, and I didn't take any damage. Because that's how much of a tryhard I have to be in this game. Like, this game makes me sweat, and I love it. It's like, we're not holding your hand, you're screwed. And then just when you think you're gonna win, boom, you get destroyed. Oh my gosh. Uh, da -da -da -da. Oh, Nate, thank you so much. Oh my god, you guys are awesome. Thank you so much for subbing. Oh my gosh, let's see. Uh, let's see, and Royal wants a compliment. Hmm, that's hard, there's so many to choose from. Let's see. When Royal enters the chat, I know I don't need to drink any coffee, because she always hypes me up. That's Royal. <laughs> oh my god, Tails. I love that you're using your powers for the good of all. Oh, I'm so... Like I said, you guys are so incredible. Like, every time I see you guys, I get so excited. Like, you guys have seen me through some pretty crazy moments. <laughs> no, you. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm sorry, I have to be very careful because this map gets me turned around so bad. So I'm just making sure I'm on the right path. <laughs> uh, do you have any meetings you have to worry about today, Royal? Or are you kind of like in the clear so far? I'm kind of jealous that Nate has like a triple and he went to go to Wendy's. Did you get any sauce, Nate? Fucking Arby's and Wendy's, every time you go, just ask for sauce and they will give it to you. I was like, hey man, can I get some honey mustard? Or hey man, can I get some barbecue sauce? And they're like, yeah, sure, here, here you go. And I just dip my fries in it. I'm like, you guys are amazing. Ah, sweet and sour. I haven't had Wendy's sweet and sour. I love McDonald's. But I've had their barbecue sauce and it's incredible. Like, I would rub their barbecue sauce over everything. I've done that before. I'm like, hmm, how can I make this dinner better? <gasps> Barbecue sauce. <laughs> Legendary. He's breaking the mold. He's using barbecue sauce. He may be the next... What is it? What are they trying to win in Hell's Kitchen? He may be the next Master Chef. You only use... Ke I do like good ketchups too, Royal. I used to do a lot of it when I was a kid and I kind of switched over to mustard. But now I'm back on board with, like, Heinz ketchup and, uh, Hunt's. It's a little bit sweeter, and I like it. 
but I don't put it on everything. Oh my god, what the f- Alright, bitch, you're dying today. I swear to god, come and try and do that again. That's right, I'm talking to you, crow. Oh, shit! Jesus, they're so fast! Alright, bitch. Let's do this. I need a good camera angle. Come on. Come on. Fight me. Oh, shit! Alright, this th if this crow kicks my ass, I swear to god. You guys better send this into like America's Funniest Home Videos or something. Oh shit! I can't. How do you? How are you supposed to stab them? They're so fast. Oh shit! All right, fuck this. We gotta get out of here. These guys are gonna kick my ass. Quick, Chris, put the thing in. Use it. I don't know what it does. Oh, what the fuck is this? Sun, moon, s All right, we gotta kill these birds. F fuck. I can't solve puzzles if you're gonna poke my eyes out. Oh my god. Ah! God, all right, all right, all right, all right. I'm not saying the crows won that fight, but I might go back into the main house just to find bullets to try to kill them, and I wouldn't even feel bad about it. Oh my god. It's too good for the boomer humor, oh my god. It is boomer humor, you're right, Tails. We've we've grown past that, we've advanced through that. We don't have to fall into that uh, basic bitch-ass uh, comedy that we were subjected to growing up, right? But I will say, uh, what is it, the one with Drew Carey? Uh, whose line is it anyways? I still watch those episodes and they crack me up. Like, they are so iconic. I used to remember I would watch ABC Family and then stay up just, like, a little bit later because, uh, at the very end, Whose Line would come on, like, very late at night, and it would say, The the opinions and the lines said in this show do not reflect the values of ABC Family, so viewer discretion is advised. I'm like, it's a fucking comedy show. Calm your tits. But, uh, I used to crack me up that they had to play that every time, like it was porn or something. I'm like, they're literally doing stand-up, my god. Assorted pots and a toolbox. Alright, can I take a hammer and hit a zombie with it? No, apparently not. Alright, what about over here? Anything? A selection of gardening supplies. There's nothing to use. Well, Chris! Chris, I don't want excuses. I want solutions. Chris literally cares more about how dirty the toilet is in the house than finding fucking Wesker and Jill. Like, get your priorities straight, man. We got fucking crows that are killing us. I can't even do a goddamn puzzle. And there's a fucking blue fl- Wait, what is this? There's a blue flower! Like, is- What am I supposed to do with this? I don't know. I know- Okay. It's fine. It's fine. Once I find bullets, we're gonna kill the crow. It's gonna be fine. Okay, I'm still fine. So the crows didn't fuck me up too bad. I still think they dealt damage to us, though. Okay, it's red. So there's plants here. We know that there's something in the graveyard, but I can't do that because the crows are there. So I'm just going to try and backtrack a little bit and hope that I miss bullets somewhere and we can shoot those crows. It's very hard to hit them with a knife. Okay, all good. Yeah, I love Who's Line. I like their games, like the, the scenes from my hat. Or, oh wait, what is this? There's a square-shaped hole here. A square-shaped hole, you say? Why, yes, that makes perfect sense. I'll obviously use my square-shaped key that I don't have. Alright, so we can't go that way. There's some kind of swimming pool. Which, first of all, I don't fuck with water. Second of all, I definitely don't fuck with water in a Resident Evil game. Because I know better. So, if they think I'm swimming in that fucking swimming pool, they've got another thing coming because I'm not doing it. Like, I will drain the water. Can I go through this? What is this? Yeah, like, who who came up with... Oh, what the... Who came up with water levels in games? Okay, there's a lantern and an elevator that's not working, I think. Right? Yeah, that's what it looks like. Okay. Like, I'm not too scared. The house is pretty secured. Like, I burned a lot of stuff. But if we're quick enough and we get that uh, kerosene and I can take it back to the hunting hut, we can burn that guy before he comes back as uh, the redhead. Okay, so we're in the house now. Okay, so this is the house connection. And then it dumps me out here. 
Honestly, it looks like there's no items in the house. The only place that's red is on the right, and I think it's a fucking plant. But there might be some gas there, so let's fucking do it. No game not giving me enough bullets, goddammit. Like, where is Jill? Why haven't I run into Jill? Wait, can I take this? The crest fits perfectly in the indentation. Will you take it? Oh, so I am going to have to take that back out at some point. Okay, cool. Head and back? Okay. It is so hard to, like, keep track of everything. Like, there's still a door that's locked here. And it says it's locked. The Spencer family emblem is carved into the doorknob. Which is a lion, I think? But I don't really know if, uh... How, how that helps me in any way yet. Uh, when you think of water levels, you think of the trial of blindness from Hellblade. Oh my god. Tails, that game... Like, even if you don't play it in VR, will, like, fuck you up. It was literally developed by, like, a psychologist and uh, someone else in college who studies, like, traumas of the brain. So they're like, let's make a video game where people can experience diff different kinds of mental illness. And I'm like, uh, no, let's make a game where we're not screaming at the top of our lungs and, you know, but it is, it's scary. I've seen, I've played through a couple levels of it, it's very terrifying. Uh, if you free yeah, definitely, it is creepy. I think I did the river scene and the uh, the one where you constantly hearing a, a sound, and then like the sound gets louder and louder and louder and louder, like it's stalking you, and it's just like boom, 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 and then you're like what? And it's just like it's supposed to simulate someone stalking you. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Nate, no worries. Enjoy my You've got the sauce, you've got the burger, you got like a Mr. Pib or a Dr. Pepper, because that's the trifecta. It's like my favorite drink to get. Oh my gosh. You gonna put some cheese on those, Royal? Man, I love me some cheese. Okay, it's a red herb. But there is kerosene. Alright, let's pick it up. Boom, give me this red herb. Give me this kerosene. Give it to me. Thank you. We've got two shots of kerosene and a red herb, so we can burn that guy at the other safe house. But I don't think there's any other places in the house that we haven't gotten treasure from. I'm going to try and look at the map. Yeah, I love putting, like, chili cheese fries or cheese fries or poutine. Those are my favorite. Like, when someone says they're having fries, I'm like, that's level one. But how are you going to level up? And then I'm like, get some garlic herb fries, get some truffle fries, get some chili cheese fries, get some baconator fries. Like, gotta level it up. Alright. So now that's green. How do I check other floors? Oh, you turn your little... Look at that, you turn your little dial. Okay, that's clear. 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 Those all need keys that I don't have, I believe. Yeah, definitely. Shit, I'm I'm fucked. We're gonna have to kill those crows manually. Tails, any idea how, how to stab a bird? I don't have any bullets at all. The game's like, figure it out. Alright, let's get back to the courtyard. Maybe if I sneak, like I leave the zone and I come back, I can just like stab them, like get a sneak attack and just kill them before they can fly. I don't even know if that's a thing in this game, but we might have to try it. I tried to do it in Fallout, and the game laughed at me. They're like, what do you think this is, a Bethesda game? And I was like, ha ha, laughs in Todd Howard. And they're like, that's not a thing until Fallout 3. And I was like, well, thanks for not telling me, game. I always thought there were sneak attacks in Fallout games. Alright, there we go. This one. And actually, guys, if you go to Steam right now, they just officially updated the Stellaris page for the next space game that Bethesda's making before our much-needed and anticipated Elder Scrolls VI. Um, so definitely check it out. It's pretty basic, but at least it has an official page now. Yeah, that takes me outside. Okay. 
Wait, hang on. There's also the caves where you enter. Yeah, where are those, Tails? Are they outside? I just want to burn this guy before he comes back, because if he comes back as a redhead, we're dead. I can't fight redheads with uh, a knife. I get bodied. <laughs> Here, let's see. I think it was down here. Oh, you were still talking about Hellblade. Oh, sorry. <laughs> sorry, Tails. I was like, did I miss something? Was there a cave with bullets and I just didn't see it on the map? Like, I'm desperate for bullets. Alright, what does this say? Oh, no, we already solved this with the, the four directions of the, the chickens. Alright. So... We just... We have to kill the crows, but we gotta burn the guy first. So let's get back to the... The hut. The hut. But did, uh, have you ever played it in VR, Tails? People have, like, emotional breakdowns playing it in VR. And the devs are just sitting there in the background, like, he 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 we made such an evil game. Like, honest to god. I'm like, I am not doing that. I don't even want to do, like, hor- Wait, will you guys just, like, fuck off? If I just, like, can I just walk past you guys? Yeah, can you guys fuck off? I don't want to fight you. I don't want beef with the crows. Oh shit, I can. Alright, here we go. The crests are fitted. Are you kidding me right now? Fuck you, game. Alright, hang on. We gotta go fix our inventory so I can pick up three crests at a time. I'll be back, crows. You played it with headphone audio in the dark. Well, that's pretty good. I couldn't even get people to do amnesia. Uh, in the dark with headphones. That was actually the first, uh, like, game and video series that got me into YouTube. I remember watching that with my friends and we were, like, shitting ourselves with that, like, monster that, like, busts out the wall. And then, like, the guy's going crazy. You're trying to figure out what's going on. There's some mysterious drug called Laudium. You can't tell if it's helping you or making you crazy. And then you look up that word and find out it's like an old psych medicine from like years ago. Can you burn this hoe? Get out of here. Get out of here, zombie. Oh shit, that's my shoes. Oh fuck. Die, you bitch. Alright, there we go. Uh, thanks for the uh, redemption, Nate. Let me go ahead and drink. I think I have some magical sprite in my magical cup of mystery today. So I will have some of that. Oh my god, Tails has the Wizard's Pipe Redemption too. And Royal wants me have candy. Oh my god, you guys are combining your powers. Oh my god, hang on. We'll do the drink first. I know, I just let my shoes on fire. That's a common thing for Chris. I don't know why it's in the game, but I kind of love it. Alright, let's do the uh, candy next. I've got my big mega bag of candy. Let's get something good. Ooh, you got, oh, wait, let me show it. I've got a red Jolly Rancher Royal, so I'll be sucking on this while being attacked by zombies. <laughs> oh, and Tails just did good vibes in the chat, so everybody spam your, spam your vibes in chat as much as possible. I'm going to go ahead and get my wizard's pipe. Yeah, we have a new candy on tap today. We have the Jolly Ranchers. Cherry flavor. Which, in order of my favorite flavors, it goes blue, green, and then red are my three favorites. <laughs> we have something new in the wizard's pipe today, too. So it will only help us with the puzzles, or it'll make me cry. So we'll find out. But regardless, thank you so much. <laughs> I definitely need this Jolly Rancher, though, so we can solve this next part. If I could get it open. Ah! You win this time, Jolly Rancher. You win this time. Can't even open this, Royal. What happened? Oh my god, did they glue this? Uh, it's something with lemon in the name, Tails. 
Maybe Super Lemon. Uh, Royal, I swear to God, I'm so strong. IRL, this is just... Oh my fucking God. Tails, this is embarrassing. Tails, I beat Skyrim. Why can't I open this? This is so embarrassing, Tails. How am I going to live this down? I can't get this shit open. Oh my god, Royal is like... Royal, what are you... What is this, a joke or something? What is this, fake? Oh my god. Oh. Royal, I swear... You know what? You know what? Royal, your candy redemption has been disqualified because I don't have scissors right now and I can't open it, so I'm taking it out and we're gonna do another one. Um... I will eventually get that open, but right now I can't, so I want to get something I can open. I think it's like glued or something. Something happened to that. It's not a normal Jolly Rancher. Oh shit, well, here you go, Royal. You got your Sour Patches! Dun 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 dun. <laughs> oh my god, Risa! <laughs> you guys are hilarious. Alright. Everybody knows that Sour Patches can help you figure out puzzles. We got this. No, I'm gonna get it open, guys. I just have to, like, get scissors and I'm gonna cut the shit out of it. Like, it's not winning. It's just... I put it to the side, but it knows what's gonna happen. It's not winning. Oh my god, Tails, you have the clam guy? How the fuck did you get the clam guy? He's like, Don't worry about it. Keep going. I'm harvesting Atlantic clams and freezing my nuts off right now. You can do it. You can make your dreams be dreams. Just do it. I fucking love the clam guy. So, uh, Tails' second animated emote is the clam guy, and he went viral. He's basically like, I'm freezing my nuts off, and I'm trying to get clams. You can fucking do it. If I can do it, you can fucking do it. And he's a very, um... He's like a support guy. He's like trying to make people feel better. He's like, just do it. You got this. Oh my gosh. The first one out of the box, Royal. Boom. Blue. Best flavor ever right there. Blue raspberry. Tails is all the good like animated ones. Mmm. Oh my god. Royal, they gave me one blue. And four cherries. I think I'm gonna cry. Four cherries in one bag? Are you kidding me? At least they're not purple. My god. Oh yeah, you told me to go check that guy out. I still have to do that. He's got some good emotes, for sure. But I saw that video late at night. It was like 11 o'clock at night. And I'm like, what is this guy doing? He looks like he's freezing his ass off in the ocean. And he is. He's freezing his ass off in the ocean. But then he's trying to be motivational about it. And I'm like, this guy's inspiring. I'm like, hell yeah, of course I want it. Like, I can do it. I can do anything. I'm like, yeah. Cherry less than grape? Tails, Tails. Tails, are you telling me you like the grape flavor? Because if you're telling me that, I gotta call someone. I gotta get you some help. Purple flavor? In any candy sucker medicine? Uh-uh. I don't fuck with that. I don't fuck with purple. Great? Yeah, I, do I don't buy grape flavor. It's terrible. It's like cough syrup. Red less than purple? What? Tails. Tails, I agree that red is kind of shitty. But red beats purple any day of the week. Because purple is god-awful can't believe they put five fucking cherry ones in my bag. Like, I need to write a letter about this. Hmm, those were delicious, Royal, by the way. Thank you. I'm gonna open up that Jolly Rancher at some point out of rage. Probably at a boss fight. We'll just, like, shred it in half. Alright, this guy's burned. I feel, I feel pretty good about it. I'm just gonna step on his corpse to let him know that he's dead. There we go. Let's see, red, purple, orange, p I mean, that's pretty good. That's a pretty good lineup, Tails. I'll give you most of that. Yeah, green is uh, sour apple. 
Blue is blue raspberry. Pink is watermelon. Orange is orange. Red is cherry. And purple is poison, arsenic, black licorice. Disgusting. Um, it's almost like, you know, those bean boozle things that, uh, you get the, the jelly beans that taste really bad. Like they're like sweaty diaper or something crazy like that. It's like they put one of those into the, uh, the mix and that is the purple flavor in every candy. It's so bad. All right. Red go in here. Kerosene, I don't need yet. I'm going to leave. I need the crank. I need the knife. First aid I need. The gun, I don't have bullets. I don't, maybe Okay, fine. I'll bring the fuel canteen. I'll combine these. And then we'll save and we'll go do it. Combine. Boom. Super drugs. Put them back in the, in the box. Come back for these later. Take my ink ribbons. We got this. Let's see. You like apples IRL, but candy flavored stuff is iffy. Ugh. Candy apple. Ugh. Candy apples are too sweet for me, but I do like watermelon. But see, the other issue is candy apples are usually covered in nuts, and nuts kill me. So I'm not about it. Not about it. But everybody loved them growing up. They were just, I was like, no, I'm not going to eat that. Yep, another save. Good old asthma. Got to get the asthma. There we go. You know there's somebody who's like listening to this and they're like, Zach, it's A-S-M-R. It's not asthma. Why do you say it like that? I'm like, listen. It's asthma. I'm like, I don't even care. I don't watch ASMR videos. I watch asthma. <laughs> Shut up, Tails. <laughs> Listen, you're just jealous because every time I forgot my lunch, they legally had to give me whatever was on the menu. Like, the lunch monitors hated me because I could just walk up in there and I'm like, oh, you're serving peanut butter and jelly sandwiches? This card says you have to give me the best thing in the freezer. And they're like, God damn it, fucking peanut kid wins again. And that's how I got menu lunches whenever the fuck I wanted. But there are trade-offs. Like, I've never had a Reese's. You know? Can't have Nutella. I mean, I could. It just I wouldn't last very long. <laughs> oh my god. Alright, we saved. I put everything away. We burned the zombie. We got a crank. I feel like we got this. I was lucky. I was, like, born right when people started to take allergies seriously. So I was kind of like the kid that opened everyone's eyes to it. And then after I was born, everyone was like, hey, we're also allergic to nuts. And then everyone started being, like, super inclusive. I had a lady come and scare the shit out of me on a plane because she knew that I was allergic. And she's like, hello, passenger number seven. And I was like, oh, shit, that's me. She's like, yeah, hello, we're not going to serve nuts because we don't want you to die. And I was like, oh, my God, well, that's super nice. I didn't ask you to do that. And she gets on the loudspeaker and she's like, we're not serving nuts because there's a there's somebody in the plane who's allergic. So if you're mad about it, go kill them. And then she hangs up the thing, and then she's like, there you go. And I'm like, whoa, lady. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Cool your jets. First of all, you just put my life in danger. Second of all, now everybody in a plane knows who's, like, the reason they can't get the nuts. They're going to throw my ass through the window. I'm going to die. But she thought she was helping, so we'll see, though. But it's so weird, because, like, I guess they get access to all that information when you buy a ticket. So, like, they're aware. They're like, they know. It's like, oh my god. It's like, ah, oh, there's passenger number six. He's the reason I can't get my 13-cent bag of nuts that every airline gives you. Ugh, oh, I'm gonna kill him. It's like, oh, thanks. Thank you. Yeah, just, just let me die on the plane. That's a better solution. And, like, mine's not as bad as some other people's, but it's still pretty bad. Um, there's, like, different levels of it, for sure. Where the... Okay, here's the gate. I was trying to find this tree. It's kind of hard to find the path out here. Okay. Back to the graveyard. We got this. Okay. <laughs> 
<laughs> it was definitely capitalized, Tails. Because everybody on that plane, that's how they say it too. You know, they acted like I deprived them of the only joy in their in their life. I'm like, I didn't even tell her to do it. It is not my fault. Not at all. Okay, I can only pick up two at a time. Let's do the moon and, moon and the sun? Or the oh, I can't even decide. Okay. There's something carved into an indentation. Two vertical lines. Hang on, I gotta dodge these ravens while I'm doing this. Alright, flip it up. Flip it back. Flip it left. Flip it right. Zoom in. A zoom out. And then you zoom in and you zoom out and you zoom in and you zoom out and you flip and then you check. Will you... Wait, there's a button. Will you press it? What? I am not gonna... What? Why would I press a button? Is this thing gonna explode? Oh my god. <laughs> Shut up, Tails. <laughs> I swear to god. I just... Tails is just like... Oh, that's gotta fucking suck for you so bad. Oh, they're so salty all in my beard. No, it's fine. My grandpa- everybody eats nuts in front of me. Nobody gives a shit. I'm like, I get it. You don't care. It's fine. <laughs> Alright, fuck it. I'm gonna press it. If we die, we die. There are two projecting lines. Okay, cool. Two on the moon. How much on the- on the star? Oh my god, that's a pissed off star. Look at this guy. Hey you. What did you wish for, little boy? <laughs> oh, here's the cross. Okay. The base is protruded in the shape of a cross. Well, thank you, game. I think I know where that one goes. Can I use this? Yeah, put that in the cross. And then put this one with the two lines. Boom. I get this one. I don't even need to look at it, but I will anyways. <laughs> God, Tails. Ooh, shifty eye, son. There we go. Uh, that's some people's favorite part in, like, uh, those Marie Callender pot pies. They're like, oh my god, I love the peas. And then other people are like, oh my god, peas are so disgusting. I can't handle the texture. I'm like, all a pea is is it sucks up the broth of whatever you put it in. That's all it is. It's just a little flavor capsule that blows up in your mouth. But people freak out about it. There are three projecting lines on the sun crest. Well, thank you. Oh, I have a defensive item. How did I get that? Look at that. I have a, a flash grenade. Hell yeah. Alright, what is this gonna do? Is, like, Nemesis here? Holy shit, what the fuck is that? Give me that. Give it to me. A Silver Serpent 35-7 Magnum Special Edition Silver Polish with the stained grip. Who the fuck put this in a graveyard? Give me that. Oh my god, you're so lucky I don't want to waste bullets right now, birds, or I would pop a cap in all of your asses. All of your asses. <laughs> <laughs> uh oh question if you get taunted heavily by a survivor as killer is it justified to hook camp them uh i definitely go for the toxic person bubbles like i don't even care about winning at that point it's just about proving to that person that that's not okay so i'm gonna give you a pass <laughs> you can definitely hook camp them um we just got a magnum and if I know anything about Resident Evil, this is what we're going to use to, like, kill the big boy uh, right in his goddamn head. Let's examine it. I opened the gate and let the other two leave. Oh my god, definitely. Like, if someone's really toxic... Okay, this is kind of... I wouldn't look at it that way. If someone's really toxic and then the other team members are, like, not a part of it or they're nice, I will literally uh, kill them and then I will attack the other people and give them hatch. Like, I'll drag them to the hatch so they can escape. I'm like, you get to you get to win because you're not a piece of shit. Basically. <laughs> oh, nice. You can, like, pull the bullets out. It's loaded with magnum rounds. Okay, cool. Can I look at that symbol, though? It looks like it's, uh... It's got the symbol of the, uh... The Spencer family. Nope. Alright, cool. 
Oh my god, did you roll? How'd you do? Who, who do they have you go against? Is it the trapper? Or like, who's the first killer? We never got tutorials. We had to figure it all out, like, by other people. So it was kind of, it was pretty intense. Like, you had to know someone to, like, tell you how to play. Uh, so there's a really funny video series that, uh, it's called, instead of Trapper, it's The Crapper. And, uh, basically it's because Trapper was so bad for quite a while, they renamed him The Crapper. But now he just recently got a buff, so he's back to being pretty good. Bye, birds! I just wanted the Magnum, thanks! I just unlocked the artist, too, guys, by the way. Our next video is probably going to be a showcase of her. I invested all my blood points into her, so she's at least level 15, but uh, I got some pretty good stuff on her so far. I'm excited to uh, kind of spread my ink all over the map. The shit stir. Oh my god. I love that. Or the... Wait, Tails, do you remember the deep hipster? That's definitely... Uh, definitely he's had a couple names. Uh, Bubbles, thanks so much for that redemption. Let me go ahead and get some more candy. We've got the big old fun bag of candy. Mmm. That Jolly Rancher was kind of an asshole. I kind of want something else. Oh my god, Bubbles, you just came in clutch. Look what you got me. Bam. Those be some Swedish fish up in there. Let's do it. Tails, you already know the question to that. Of course I did. I stay ready. I keep that wizard pipe ready. We got zombies out here. Swedish fish! Let's see if I can actually get the bag open this time, guys. There we go. So, Bubbles, have you heard the tea? Have you heard the news? Have you heard the thing about Swedish fish? No longer are Swedish fish just red. Swedish fish has a full rainbow line now. You can get different flavors. You can get different sizes. You can get different whatever the fuck you want. It's not just red ones anymore. <laughs> it probably has, a, like, a cooldown on it. Oh, there you go. That's why. Royal beat you to it. <laughs> Thanks, Royal. I'll, uh, I'll go ahead and do that right after I eat these. We're gonna go... Okay, guys. Keep in mind, we're going full wizard mode. So I need all of you guys to, like, help me through the boss fight, because it's gonna get intense. I might try to hug the boss, and he's not going to be about it. <laughs> Rose, like, I have a meeting. I'll just leave this here. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, kind of easy, like the giant-ass snake that came and attacked me, Bubbles, that almost bit me and made me trip off my butt. I'm just glad to have it. I don't have any other bullets, but I'm going to try really hard not to use it. <laughs> Tails. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, Royal, uh, Tails is going on a, like a Mario Kart style date today for his anniversary. I'm super jealous. They're going to be slapping each other. It is, Tails. I see you are also a practitioner of the Arcane Arts. We are part of the Mages College. Maybe House Rhetoran as well. I know, I'm like, how the hell, wh why doesn't my boyfriend take me out to go to fucking Mario Kart dates? Like, come on. Tails is like, yeah, I'm just gonna take her to this little spot. We're gonna do go-karts and eat food and all this other crazy shit. I'm like, what? I get like, uh, do you want to go to the normal restaurant we always go to, or do we want to change it up and maybe, you know, go somewhere else? I'm like, I want to go go-karting. I want to go to Japan. I want to go hiking. Hmm, I do want to do mini-golf, too. I haven't done putt-putt in so long. Yes, Tails, what's up? I just ate my last Swedish fish. It was wonderful. Tails, I literally have it in my about me section, so yes, I is. 
I is rainbow. I is cupcake. I am a unicorn. Oh my god. Ten years. Good for you, Royal. Oh no. Ducky, you came in just, just in time. Oh my god, what's up, Ducky? I think we all do. Royal has a meeting. Like, she doesn't need to be at this meeting. It could be an email. Now you've got people at your job who get paid too much and they're being stupid. Oh no. Or like, yeah, Tails, it's in the about section. <laughs> oh my god, thank you, Royal, for clarifying. That was pretty funny. Yeah, Tails, there you go. <laughs> oh goodness. Um, I have to do another redemption of my wi uh, my wizard's pipe. I gotta do it for- I did it for Tails first, and I gotta do it for Royal before a meeting. <sighs> I hate those meetings. It's like, nah. I don't need to be here for 20 minutes when you could've emailed me. Like, I'm eating Swedish fish, I'm doing something, I don't need to be there. Alright, we are at... Maximum wizard power. I'm ready for this. Oh my god, Ducky. Look what I got. Ducky's gonna be so proud of me. Boom, bitch. Silver Serpent Magnum. And then when you check it, you can make the bullets come out. Boom. Rotate those bullets. Like every movie ever. All I had to do was, like, not get killed by crows in a graveyard. Check those bullets out. They're ready. <laughs> Royal. Oh, come on. I think every job can be cool. Or I should say, cool people can do every job. I always like to say that. It's not it's not the job itself, it's the person who does the job that's cool. <laughs> I don't know, I think your job's pretty cool, Tails. Oh my god, Bubbles just recently got like a super rare uh, Yu-Gi-Oh card too, he was showing us. I'm super jealous. The best cards I've ever gotten uh, out of a Yu-Gi-Oh pack... I opened up a holographic time wizard and a black eyes red dragon in the same pack and I almost cried like I was so excited like I'd never been so lucky in my life um, but it was an amazing pack I'll never forget it and they were both had the episodes back to back where they were both featured in the show so I like lost my shit I was like oh my god time wizard time wizard so it was like you know pretty cool Oh man, Bubbles. We just saw a video for uh, Walmart when they were saying that there's a code Karen at Walmart because they have to call the managers to deal with the Karens. So I feel you on that one. I will avoid retail if it costs me my life. That's what people say, and I I just always try to be super nice to people. I'm like, why are people dicks? Like, don't be a dick. Like, I don't, I don't, I just, I honestly, if there's any way I can, like, fix a situation or be nice or get like a Karen out of line or whatever like that's what I do I'm like I'm not gonna I'm not gonna let them be like an asshole to the employees that's just like unacceptable oh yeah food service too can be really tough a lot of people say that like people are so thankless in that job too I always say thank you I'm like thank you I appreciate you like honestly I'm like just be as nice as possible like especially now uh, you have to, yeah, and don't have to interact with them outside of there. Oh, that's good. Uh, a lot of people say they like, like, being, like, a pref cook or a pref chef. Like, where you get to come in and just, like, do all the onions, do all the peppers, or, like, a baker. You come in, you just make a bunch of donuts, and then you bounce. Like, not having to deal with people on some days. People are like, sign me up. You've been cussed out over garlic bread? What? Nate, were you at Olive Garden? Please tell me you weren't at Olive Garden when that happened. Because I've seen that happen and it's bullshit. Like, there is a bread guy. I'm just the waiter. I can't make more bread. Like, he has to do it. Mm, I love prep chefs. Because if you take a prep chef home, well, they're not going to want to because they do it all day for work. But if you see someone who preps, like, cut up vegetables, it turns me on. Like, I kind of sit there and I'm like... 
oh my god, did he just cube a pepper in three seconds? I'm like, I don't even know what he did with his left hand. And he's like, yeah, I fucking do this for eight hours a day. What do you think I... I'm like, oh my god. I do not prep like that, by the way. I like the slap chop, where you just kind of slap it all together. Uh, you were screamed at by an employee's mother because he cut himself with a knife? She claimed he had never... Wait, have you ever seen Chopped? Miners are... can't use knives. What? Where was that at, Ducky? What the hell? Oh, you worked for a local Italian restaurant. Okay, okay, Nate. I get it, I get it. It's, I was like, kind of sounds like Olive Garden. Oh my god. That's terrible, Nate. I can't believe that. Why are people dicks? Like, I am trying to bring you food and be a nice person. Why are you screaming at me? Have you ever seen Chop Jr.? They're eight. Using blowtorches to flame their creme brulee. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Alright, I think what we have to do, guys, is we have to use the crank in the fountain. The problem, the pathway to get back is confused me like four times. So I'm just going to keep hitting the map so I don't get lost. It's it's like a fucking Zelda water puzzle or something. Well, I'm not going to say that, Nate, because I don't want to like worry you for later today, but you're going to love the water temple. You're going to love it. I'm gonna try my best, but it's just like living through past traumatic memories. Like, I know I know how to do it, but it's like, do I even want to open up that Pandora's box? Okay, there we go. I think this will take us back. Oh yeah, perfect. Okay. So I'm just assuming we use the crank here. For all I know, we don't. But I don't really know what else needs a crank. Oh, wait, no, I need to go up. How do I go up? Up and over. Okay, we have to use the other door. That's what it is. Uh, wow. Okay. <laughs> oh my god, Tails is like, he's out here today. Tails, what if I told you that, like, my IRL boyfriend was, like, a IRL Nord? Like, what would you do? <laughs> Once we got harassed for three hours because you forgot dipping sauce, eight people call us and they wanted a full refund on a 30-ish order for a 50-cent dipping sauce. Oh my god. Please tell me that, like, you denied that. Please tell me you didn't, like, okay that, because that's unacceptable. That tails me with... Oh my god. <laughs> hmm. You wouldn't understand, Tails. You're just a Nord. What do they say? Khajiit handles Khajiit issues or whatever? Oh, no, that's an orcish thing. Orcs handle orc issues. The store manager just said give them the credit because they were hogging the phone like, oh my god. $30? $30 for being an asshole? <laughs> oh my god. Listen, you guys are going to be so mad when Chris comes back. Chris is going to be like, excuse me, what did I miss? What? I ain't exactly a Nord, but I'm a Nord. <laughs> oh my god, I love it. Yeah, agreed, Bubbles. They sound like complete assholes. That's terrible. I don't know why people act like that. <laughs> yeah, what are you talking about? I was like, hang on a second. People are talking about the anniversaries they're going on. Oh yeah, Nate. Tails is literally taking his... Uh, he's literally taking her to Mario Kart, like, IRL, like, bumper cart date for, like, the anniversary, and I'm super jealous about it. I was like, that sounds like an amazing date. Just, like, crash into each other at high speeds and throw red shells at each other. And then, like, get pizza afterwards. Alright, now the question is, where the hell do I put the lever in? Wait a minute. A square-shaped hole. Dun-dun-dun-dun. To the swimming pool. I literally need to get, like, a Jimmy Neutron, like, Brain Blast! Because it's like, I just think for a second, and I'm like, where the fuck do I use a yellow gem? And then I'm like, oh yeah, it goes into the lion's eyeball. Like, I don't know where it comes from sometimes, guys. You just have to think about it. 
Yeah, like, I would do that in a second. Like, I used to do the carnival ones that snapped into the ceiling, and they would, like, spark, and you would, like, try to hit people, but every time I did, like, a motorized uh, golf cart, it was a birthday party, and uh, I tried very hard not to hit anyone, because it was a gas-propelled vehicle, and I, even as a kid, I was like, I'm gonna get myself killed. But I had a lot of fun. <laughs> Tails, I told you, they're a Nord. They're, uh, they're actually the Jarl. So, uh, they're the Jarl of just about every single hold. They handle all of the Nord issues. And they're the Nord attaché to the rest of, uh, Tamriel. Hmm. I don't know. Has he been a security guard? No, I don't think so. Maybe. But if that's what he's doing, you know, behind the scenes, I don't have any idea. <laughs> Alright, guys. I have a 99.9% .9 feeling that this is gonna work. But I also feel like there's a shark in this pool and I'm not emotionally ready for it. So here we go. Crank it, soldier boy. Oh my god, that's what the song's about. It's about Chris Redfield. Crank it, soldier boy. Oh my god, and a cutscene? Oh my god, what the fuck? Teenage new Ninja Turtles. What we got down here? A, br a bridge? You can hear the sound of a waterfall in the distance. What? I can hear the sound of a waterfall in the distance? What does that mean? Uh, let's see. What bothers me is when people feel like changing... <laughs> oh my god, I'm with you, Nate. Like, I always sing songs, and I change it to, like, fit me. Like, I don't sing it with the same word. I'm like, I don't, I don't get that. But some singers, they won't. They're like, they'll keep the word the same. They won't switch it. I'm like, it's not even a big deal, though. Just, like, be accommodating, be nice, be open. Other people like your music, and they're not gonna... Just do both. I think Lady Gaga actually did both versions. I remember she did that. She had two different versions on one of her CDs, and that was super nice. Um... But, you know, everyone always talks about that Ed Sheeran song, the one that everyone plays at, like, their wedding. And they're like, how easy would it be to adapt that song so that, like, every kind of relationship could use that at their wedding? But if the singer's not interested, he's not going to do it, but I'm just saying. Yeah, some, like, I think that's basically, well, it's, it's kind of like that argument. It's, sometimes people get offended when, like... I don't know, but see, the whole thing is acting, you're, like, putting on a role, so technically anyone should be able to do it, but then people get mad and say, well, you need to be true to the role, you need to be the actor, you need to have all these things happening for you to, like, be this role, but you're acting, you can put that role on, so. <laughs> Let's see. Yeah, you can't, like I said, you can't get mad at someone for either doing it or not doing it. Like, some people will sing it, and that's just the words to it, because that's the song. And, like, karaoke is going to say that. But then there's other people who sing it, and they do change the words. But it's like, you're not going to get, you shouldn't get mad at them for that. Let's see. I don't know what I did. I, I cranked the water, a bridge is there, and now I'm at an elevator. Does the elevator work? Oh shit, here we go. Oh my god, where are we right now? There's blue herbs on the ground. Hello? Oh shit, you hear the sound of a waterfall in the background. Oh shit! God fucking damn it, these birds. Alright. I think if I come back into the zone, I can despawn the birds and I don't have to kill them. <laughs> Your theater kid problems? Oh my god. I've seen, like, both sides of it. Because, like, some people try to sing, like, the musicals and the songs to scale and key, and then other people try to, like, change the words or the pitch and do different stuff with it, so... People always fall on, like, either side of the fence. Oh yeah, tails you. Yeah, see, cross cross country and track. Wow. I knew people who did track. People who did cross country, man, you have to be ready to like 
I just feel like if I was running up a mountain and I made, like, a misstep, I would, like, hurt my ankle. Like, that's what I was scared of. Like, just running flat, like, in a circle for track was like, okay, I could probably do this. But then when you do cross country and the whole terrain's different, I'm like, oh, God. And if I wipe out because I'm so tall, I'm going to take damage. I'll probably take someone out with me. He said, he said, you wouldn't know. What, what does he say to the, is it Lydia or the, his house, Carl? He's like, you wouldn't know. You're not a Nord. It's a Nord thing. You're such a Nord. I mean, it's kind of cute. I like that there's uh, some drugs here. Oh, shit. Look, the birds fucked me up so much, I'm in caution. All right, you win this one, birds. I'm going to pick this up. Let me just go ahead and uh, crush this up and put it... Oh, there we go. All better. Shut up, birds. I'm trying to figure out the puzzle in this room. All right. Oh, my God. What is this? A bird statue? Okay, well, it's green, but we have to go through a door on the far side? That's right, prevent us. Yeah, he's like, you wouldn't understand. You're not a Nord. I was like, I just want that to be my comeback for everything. Ugh, we have a blue herb, too. What does a blue herb do? No idea. That takes me up. So we gotta go on the other side. Can I go through the waterfall? A raging waterfall. Looks like there's something beyond it. There's something beyond the raging waterfall? Okay, we got another fountain. Some kind of tra transparent creature is swimming around in the water. What? What? What is this? The battery has been taken out. The battery has been taken out? The power to the elevator is turned on. There's got to be a power source. What? Where the fuck am I going to get a battery? Game. Game. What? Go through this door. Oh my god. Uh, the start of the game... Oh my god. Blue, red, and green. Is that like the best heal in the game? Okay, because I only have two blue herbs so far. I don't want to waste them. They look very alien, very Asari. I like them a lot. Okay, we got a red herb here. Yeah, can we talk about it? Like, how many times has Goku been resurrected with the Dragon Balls, and yet somehow they're still finding loopholes to bring this bitch back? Oh, shit! Oh, fuck no. Fuck that shit. I don't fuck with snakes. I hate snakes on a plane. Don't fucking drop snakes on my head. No. I've got goddamn headphones on. That was terrifying. Oh my god. Why are there snakes falling from the ceiling? Why? Why are there snakes in this game? Oh my god. Oh my god. That fell right on top of my head. Ugh. Goku. Like, I remember when Goku was just, like, a weird kid with a monkey tail. Now he's, like, the fucking savior of the world seven times over. Alright, let's see if those snakes despawned. Shit, here we go. Uh, if you combine them with a green herb or red green herb, you'll also cure poison with your heals. Ooh, that sounds good. Young Goku, Goku is great, and old Goku is the worst. I think most people think that uh, that way, Royal, for sure. He definitely took a turn. Uh, the snakes will keep spawning. You have to run through safely. Holy shit. Alright, well, there you go. Alright, guys. Fuck. Ah! Ah! God, I hate snakes. Ah, fuck! What the shit is the room? Oh my god, why is this in the game? Why is this in the game? Open the door. Ugh, I hate snakes. No. Oh, yeah, this is the shot I needed, game. Super zoom in on Chris's crotch and his dirt-ass face. That's what we need. I just saw some shit, guys. I just had a snake land on my head. I just saw some shit. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Uh, would you rather have one coconut-sized or 13 golf balls. Oh god, neither. Tails, how would you even get in the car? I would I would I would take option D, which is none of the above. Call 911. 
Is that, we're gonna make our own option. Where the fuck am I, by the way? What is this? A residence. We are in Residence Evil. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, God. Who would ever live here? There's literally snakes falling from the ceiling. Is that, like, part of it? Like, what? Oh, we got a... Okay, I'm just gonna pick this up. Well, I can't pick this up, though. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, come on, bro. I thought that was good. Oh, my God. I thought that was good. Hmm. Oh my god. Who who the fuck is in here? I only have six magnum bullets. I'll fight you right now. I got a knife. Right now. God, I don't have a map for this place either, do I? It's complete. Yeah, I don't have a map. Oh my god. Hello? Who lives here? Lisa? Is it Lisa or Jerry? That's the only names I know. Rebecca? Is Rebecca in here? God. Oh my god, we got a safe room, thank god. Alright, please tell me there's bullets. The shelves contain buckets and rope. Fuck yeah, you know what I can do with buckets and rope? Fucking shit all. Why the fuck is the game telling me this? The rope looks freshly cut? What? Okay, who the... Okay, okay, let's just take a second, let's just think about this. First off, where the fuck is Jill? Second off, where's Wesker? Third off, look at these cam angles. What is happening? We're about to solve a mystery. Boom, boom, boom. Action shot, boom. What? Oh, up, oh, look up. What? Hello. What is happening? We have not run into Wesker or Jill this whole time. Wesker left me bullets one time. Wesker? I would like some more bullets, at least. I want to see, like, my partner. All right, give me that. Uh, yeah, give me that. Uh, what else we got? We got freshly cut rope and buckets. If anyone knows how to use that, let me know. Can I pick up another first aid? Does it stack? You can't carry anymore. Okay, never mind. Is there a box in here? No, it doesn't look like it. Nice, Tails, you're almost there. Ooh, kerosene. I'll take that. Give me some kerosene. Thank you. And we got a box. Hell yeah. Holy shit. I just need to take a second, because first of all, there was water. Second of all, there was snakes. Third of all, they did all of that back to back, so fuck them for that. Fourth of all, we know there's a giant snake in the forest that's probably stalking us. He's mad that I shot him a bunch of times. I don't know if he's birthing the snakes. I don't know. I don't fuck with snakes. But I do have a magnum, so I feel pretty powerful. <laughs> Alright, let's figure out what we're gonna do. Alright, put these with this. Boom. Crank, I don't know if I need you again. Go in there. Magnum, I'm not letting you go. Ever. First aid will keep. What else do I want to take? Anything? Well, let's save first. Good idea to save. Uh, like... I just know I'm never going to get more bullets for it. So, like, I don't want to use it, but I also want to get, like, a headshot with it. Also, let's pick up this first day. Uh, you got to prep for your meeting. I'll see you later. Uh, bye, Ro, for sure. Hope your meeting goes well. Maybe we'll get lucky and you'll get out early. We'll keep our fingers crossed. Okay, put that in there. Let's save. Yeah, is that what his name is? Yawn? Why is his name Yawn, by the way? But I will definitely take any good news regarding the snake. Let's do this. Boom. We're in the residence storeroom. Alright. I didn't even know there was a whole other section in this game. I thought it was all the house. Little did I know. Let's see. Oh, good. Okay, because I swear I heard someone, like, chasing me around in the woods. I was terrified. Uh, next encounter is in a library searching for a key. Okay. Whew. I don't like that snake. I know there's got to be a way to, like, perma-kill him, but I'm sure it takes a ton of bullets. <laughs> oh, God. This box looks oddly suspicious. 
Okay, I can't stab it. Can I push it? I can push it with my Chris muscles. Okay. So now that I've... Maybe Jill, because this game is so stupid. Probably Jill can't push boxes, right? Because Chris is the master of pushing boxes. Right? Right? Yeah? No, they didn't give him anything because they hate Chris. They gave it all to Jill. Fucking bitch. It's fine. It's fine. She's not my partner anymore. I like Sheva more anyways. Wait, why did I do this? Is this what I'm supposed to do? I have no idea. I just disinfected your phone screen and now it's super shiny. Oh my god, can you see? Is everything HD, Tails? Can you see everything better? I usually have that happen when I clean my glasses and it's a very nice moment. I'm just gonna see if he'll jump from this. Can you jump? Oh, he can. Boom. We're here. Where are we? Okay. Knock, knock. Who's here? Let me jump down. Hello? The music has changed, which is never a good sign in this game. <laughs> They're like, oh, you think you're safe? Well, boom. Secret enemy. There doesn't seem to be anything useful. Alright, well, thanks for that, Chris. Well, there you go, Tails. I like it. I like how you do the math there to fix it. Okay, there's a window. I don't trust it. And a woman looks like a statue with a cherub. Is that Lisa? I don't know. I haven't run into anyone who's part of the Spencer bloodline yet, so I just know it's their house. Newspapers. Newspapers lie scattered around. They all seem to contain articles about... STARS! Is fucking Nemesis here? Because if Nemesis is here, I need a bigger gun. I don't think a Magnum's gonna cut it. It does get really grody, especially if people have, like, oily hands. You know, but people are crazy. They take their phone into the bathroom with them. They take their laptops into the bathroom with them. I've seen people take communal laptops into bathrooms. I'm like, that's disgusting. Like, put it on the fucking floor. Something's glowing over there. What is that? Hmm. Please don't kill me, 002. What is that? Is that a map? There's a map of the residence. Yes, the residence evil. Oh, shit, this place is huge! Check this place out. Okay. If you want to random relief things about game, just say so. Oh, perfect. Yeah, I'll definitely uh, let you know, Bubbles. There's a hole in the wall. Okay, a hole in the wall. Well, clearly that means I need to put kerosene on it? No, that can't be right. Uh. Okay, oh, well, just, there's a hole in a wall. Maybe it's breakable? What's in here? Nothing. Okay, zero, zero, 002, we're coming in. Or should I go back and try to open that? Hang on. I want to go back and try to open that one door. I don't want to go too far ahead. Let's see if this even opens. It's locked. The door plate reads, Gallery. Okay, that does nothing for me. You've never played a Resident Evil game ever, Tails? Um, I started way late. I started at 5. So I'm trying to go back and get all the uh, the deep lore that I missed. But then the game punishes me. Because Chris is my boy, and I know Chris from 5, and he's the secret hard difficulty in this game. So I'm kind of mad about it still, I've got to be honest. Okay, so that's... <gasps> Holy fucking shit! Oh my god, what the fuck was that? Bubbles. Bubbles, what is that? What is that? Oh my god. My defense item did nothing! Is that a liquor? Is that Licky Tongue? What is that? I think it's Licky Tongue. Oh my god. Do, how do I... Oh. Oh. You have to avoid the hole. Oh. And then boom. Holy shit. Is it pissed off that I killed that other plant? Because I totally did. I put, uh, I put red shit in the fertilizer and I killed it uh, to get a key. So if it knows about that, I'm fucked. I am two tails. I think you're gonna have a ton of fun. Oh my god. 
Okay, so note to self, don't walk through holes. Okay, cool. So I was gonna kinda go back, but I don't even know if I can- wait, let's see if I can go this way. Fuck that thing, I'm out. Can I, like, jump to the other side of the room and not, like, piss him off? Oh yeah, that's what we have to do. Okay, okay, cool. Uh, yes. Can this door open? No, this door. Can this door open? Yeah, this one. It's locked. The door plate reads 001. Holy shit. No, that bitch went right for my neck and then tried to, like, put eggs in me or some shit. Like, I know they can lay eggs in you and I'm not looking forward to that shit. I don't want it to turn into Alien vs. Predator. Alright, there's one final door to check over here. Here we go. Oh shit, I didn't think this door was gonna open. Oh my god! Ah! Fucking shit! Okay, what the fuck kind of residence is this? It is Residence Evil. What the fuck am I supposed to do with that? That's a fucking hairy ass spider. I mean. I don't even. I kind of want to shoot it with this. Alright, fuck it. I'm just going to run. Oh, I don't fuck with spiders. I don't fuck with snakes. I have... N Bubbles, I think I wasted all my bullets trying to shoot into that uh, hunchback, whatever it is. Arm wrestling tournament. What? An advertisement for an arm wrestling contest. The winner will be named chief for a day of the raccoon police department? What? What does that mean? Wesker? What the shit is happening in this house? Now we're in the second residence. And there's a picture of an ass. Just like on the wall. What is this? Wesker, what is this? What is this? Can I get... I don't know what to do. Oh my god, Anonymous. Thanks so much for the uh, gift sub. Oh my god. Thank you so much for gifting uh, Cozy Oats uh, a, a sub. Thank you so much. Uh, we're just trying to figure out what this house is. Orange oil lamp. It's not lit. Does that mean I can light it? With the power of my lighter that I didn't know I had? Use. Holy shit! Now that I know that I have a lighter, this is a different game. A strange silhouette hovers in the orange light. It looks like a fucking eyeball. Could it have some kind of meaning? Uh, okay, so an eyeball shadow. Okay. And we're, oh, we're in a pool room. We're like in a, in a, what is this room called? The, the galley or whatever? What do they call this? Where it's like all your parlor games? Okay, so we know that the, there's a candle with an eyeball. And a spider that's just chilling on the wall. Fuck off, spider. Fuck off. Oh, shit! Did I just do that? Yeah, fuck off, spider, that's right. Chris motherfucking Redfield. A guitar case, it's empty. Okay. There's a lot of pictures of, like, women in bikinis. And something about a guitar? God, I hope it's not, like, a pool puzzle, because I don't play pool, like, at all. Oh, fucking bitch ass. Oh my god. Does anybody in chat know anything about pool? Because I don't play pool. I know the white ball is the ball you hit, and the eight ball is, like, the one you don't want to accidentally hit in a hole. And other than that, it's all colors to me. Okay, just... Okay, remember the picture. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven is sideways. Okay. There doesn't seem to be anything significant about the order, but... But what? We're missing the 8-ball, right? Yeah, we're definitely missing the 8-ball. Oh, fuck you, bitch! You wanna, you wanna scrap right now? You wanna scrap? You hairy-ass bitch? Fuck off. That's right. Once I figure out how to hit you, you're dead. Oh shit, there's two of them! Oh, I'm fucked. I'm fucked. He's coming up the stairs. Oh, I'm fucked. Oh god. Don't come up the stairs. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> oh my god. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. I don't know if I'm hurting him, but I'm just going to try my best. Oh my god, what do I do? What do I do? <laughs> Alright, I'm not moving. Nate, what do I do? What do I do? 
I don't know what to do. I don't have enough bullets for this. Is it dead? Hello? Oh, shit, he's coming back. He's, oh, he's coming back. He's coming back. Oh, fuck. Fuck. Kill it. Kill it. Stab it. Stab it in the eye. Come on. Stab it in the ass. Right in the ass. Yeah, that's right. That's what I thought. Some balls. I know about the balls, Chris. I mean, I don't know about the balls, but I know the balls are there. Oh, shit. Okay, hang on. You got another one coming in. What? You mad I fucked up your brother? Come on. You want some? That's right. I'm gonna clip you through this wall and I'm gonna stab you. Come here. Once I get a little closer, I think I can get him. Wait. Where's the hitbox? Um, hello? Spider? Does anyone know if I'm hitting him? I see blood a little bit. Fuck you, spider. Fuck you, spider. Fuck you. That's right, I'm Chris, the master of stabbing bitches through corners. Can Jill do this? I don't fucking think so. That's right, I'm in the Air Force, bitch. Alright, oh my god. Oh, it's still twitching. Oh my god, is that dead? Stop twitching. Stop twitching. Okay, okay, we're just gonna chill. Oh my god. I need just a second. I had snakes dropped on my head. I had water, which is my number one rule in video games. I've got hairy-ass spiders that are trying to get me in the dark alley while I'm trying to play pool. Oh my god. It's dead when they flip? So is this thing dead or is it going to come back? Do I have to burn it? I have kerosene. I don't want it to come back as, like, T-virus spider. Okay, cool. Okay, phew. Right. How much damage did I take? A little bit, but I'm not scared. I got super drugs back home. Alright, we good, we good. I own this house, bitch. I don't care about spiders or snakes, I'll stab all of them. Why is there a poster here about arm wrestling, though? This is very suspicious, like... An arm wrestling tournament where you get to be chief for a day? What the fuck? I was at a thing. Hello? Who's down here? It looks like a bar. Ooh, what is this? Oh! <gasps> Bullots! We finally found Bullots! Okay, why does that look like a potion? Oh my god, Nate, you already know what I'm gonna say. When Nate takes his hat off, he puts Princess Peach, Zelda, fucking He-Man, Captain Planet, all of them, to shame. Like, nobody's got better hair than Nate. Like, 100% would vote again. A green oil lamp. It's not lit. Oh shit, I know what to do. Boom, light that bitch. A strange silhouette hovers in the green light. It is an eyeball with a snow eyelashes. <laughs> Could it have some kind of meaning? Probably, yeah. I think Bubbles said, yeah, the candles are important, so we're gonna keep looking at them. What is this? Bandage with blood. Will you re will you take a red book? Uh, sure. What the hell is this? All right, remember, guys, we have to zoom out, in and out. You gotta flip it over and turn it this way. You go in, out, left to the right. You go up, down, up, down, left. Examine. It's a book with a red cover. Okay. Can you tell me anything about this? It looks like a goat. It's a book with a red cover. What about this? What is that? Something present with bread. What? Does anyone know what this says? It says something with bread. Present with bread. Bandage with... Oh, wait. Bandage with blood. Bandage with blood. Something present. Okay. Well, we have a book now. Can I open the book? Can I open the book? Oh, I can. Shit. Boom. It's a book with a red cover. Nothing is printed on any of the pages. Is there a special way to use it? Probably. Alright. Let's see. What is this? You can't carry any more items. Hmm. Where's my, like, safety box? Let's go back up to the safe room. Was it up here? 
typewriter with a box. Yeah, that's where I want to go. I'm in caution. I could just eat that herb, but I need inventory space. Yeah, let's go through this way. <laughs> really, Tails? Yeah? You don't you don't think it's true? I don't think you've seen Nate's uh, power in its full power. It's very Super Saiyan 3. It kind of... Uh, it definitely has a soul. Okay, I think it's this way. Sorry, this is like a whole new map, so it's going to take me a second to know where like every door is. Plus, there's like this crazy shit in the floor that's like eating me every time I step on it. Oh, I don't even know. I think if... If Nate probably straightened his hair, it would at least be, like, down to his middle back, I think. Pretty close. But because it's curly, you know, you only get to see half of its true power. Boom, well, let's open this up. Alright, so, kerosene can go away for now. Magnum can go away for now. Oh my god! Oh my god, Chris! Chris coming in with that resub. Holy shit, man. How are you? Oh my god, Chris. We were just talking about you today. How are you, man? We were wondering if you were, uh, how you were doing, because you said how busy you were. Oh my god, Chris! Oh my gosh. Oh, you're still very busy. Oh my god, well, we appreciate you so much for stopping by. Oh my goodness. Yeah, everyone was just asking about you today, man. Oh my gosh. Uh, you'll be freer next month. Alright, definitely. We're excited. We were actually talking about the uh, Morrowind playthrough, Chris. Well, we were talking about a potential big point sub-redemption so people could pick, like, my origin starting, my class, stuff like that for uh, Morrowind, so... I think that'll actually work out with the timeline. Oh my gosh, that's awesome. <laughs> get, <laughs> get out of here with... Oh my, people have been waiting to do that, like, all day, Chris. Oh my god. Yeah, that's what I said too, Chris. I was like, I would play as a Red Guard. Red Guards are pretty awesome. I guess Bretons have like 50% resistance to magic in Morrowind, like to everything. Kind of seems like cheating. Nords, it's 100% resistance. Oh my god. I'm fine. As long as I can be a Red Guard and I get a helmet and shoes, there we go. That's all I need. Oh my god. Is it like... Uh, stamina regeneration like it is in the new games, or what is it in the uh, in Morrowind? Is it different? Oh, no worries, Chris. Yeah, definitely. If you have to head out, head out, but we appreciate you so much for stopping by. Stay amazing, even if we don't see you till January. Happy holidays. Have a good Christmas. We will see you when we see you. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, happy holidays for sure. Oh, goodness. Oh, that's awesome. Today's been such an amazing day. And we've got shotgun bullets now, so things are starting to look up. Um, I'm going to put the first aid away, I think. Let's save that. And I'll put the book away till we know when to use it. <laughs> oh, welcome back, Nate. Uh, we were talking about how awesome your hair is and how very Super Saiyan 3 it is. Tails was like, how long's this hair? I was like, it's pretty amazing. I said, we haven't even seen its full power yet. Okay, put, wait, put those in the gun, please. And then equip the gun. Or actually, you know, we're pretty good with the knife. Let's just stick with the knife for right now. And then I'm just going to bring the book with us in case we need it. Yeah, Tails is very, he has the Viking hair. That's what you're competing with, Nate. He's got the full-blown Viking hair. Which, again, we love it. It's amazing. It's great. But... Long hair people be out here, man. I don't think we need the crank anymore. Alright, time to head back out. I feel personally attacked. Oh my god. I think everybody, we do need to have a hair off. Like, we already have a gray beard off. We can definitely have a, a long hair off as well. You gotta come in, you gotta pose, you gotta flip, flip, and then you gotta do your final pose. We'll make it like uh, Miss America. 
You have to comb it out before stream. Oh my god. Um, I was actually watching someone get their hair straightened. They had like really big curly hair. And their hair was so long, it went down to their butt. And I was like, nobody knows how long curly hair is because it can curl like twice, three times, four times, six times. And then when you straighten it, oh my god. So for all we know, Nate, you might have hair all the way down to your butt. Alright, what is this? Somebody left it at the bar. A first aid box. What is this? Zoom in. Out. To the bottom and up. Down, left, in, examine, up. There we go. A herb. An herb mix of green and blue herb was inside. Interesting. I'll take that. A mixture of green and blue herbs. I don't think I've ever smoked a blue herb before, but hell yeah, I would love to try that. Where can I get some of that blue herb? Hook it up. <laughs> you could never. Oh my god. Uh, goes down to your back as it is now when I shower. Oh my god. Straightening hair is bad. Yeah, because can't you like the heat can like damage it or like fry your hair? Yeah, we can't we can't risk hurting your hair, Nate. That would be terrible. <laughs> Get me some of that. Blue herb. Blue dream is pretty good, but I don't think they make blue dream out of this stuff. Or maybe they do, and this is the tie into Resident Evil. Who the hell knows? Alright, so this is the bar. It's just a lot of herbs. I don't know what to do with the pool thing. There's two candles we lit. Let's see. <laughs> Oh, she does do that, Nate? Oh my god. Oh my goodness. You, oh, it crackles? Oh my god, I didn't even think of that. Like, I turned a grill on one time too fast, and I kind of got the end of my hair, like, it lit up a little bit. And uh, it smelled so bad. I can't imagine, like, that the smell of that, if you, like, do it too bad, or you, like, cook your hair. That's why I tell people, I'm like, just love yourself for whatever you have. You don't need to change yourself. And if you really, really want to change yourself, please go to someone who knows how to do it where you're not going to fry your hair off. Uh, what is this? A record player? A leather jacket. Part of it has been burned by acid. What? Acid. Who the hell shot acid at it? I guess the spider. Okay, what's over? Oh, shit, we got another candle, guys. Light that bitch. A strange silhouette hovers in the reddish light. An eyeball with two eyelashes, I guess. Yeah, uh, you're seriously considered going to a professional that knows how to do Vike. Honestly, Tails, you should totally do that and like send a bunch of pictures in. I've talked to multiple people that are growing out their hair trying to get Viking braids. Like it's coming back. I think it's super attractive. I always think men with long hair are attractive, so... I'm glad it's not just, go get your hair buzz cut, look like everybody else, men can't have pretty hair, cut it off. Like, no. Let men have long hair. Don't take it from us. Can I talk to... I can't do anything with this photo. I thought I could. Alright, well, there's another herb over here. And a ladder. A rack full of wine bottles that are cheap vintages. Okay. Hmm, let's see. A rack full of wine bottles. They're cheap vintages. Uh, okay, does that help me? What does cheap wine mean? Uh, your mom <laughs> didn't want to deal with my hair and made it cut it in element. Oh. Honestly, a lot of people say that. Like, if you don't know what to do with it, they're just like, cut it off. But then you don't get to see how amazing it's going to be or what its full power is. Yeah, that's true. If, like, you've had to have short hair your whole life, of course you're going to want to have, uh, like, long hair later, because you, like, get a choice. That's why I hate, like, places where you work and they're like, shave your beard, shave your hair, do this, do that. I'm like, how about you stop trying to dictate my body and realize that whether if I have tattoos, long hair, a beard, whatever, I can still do this job. It doesn't have anything to do with it. But people always try to, like, discriminate like that, and it's stupid. Right, what is this room? Oh, this is the newspaper room. Okay, so now we have to go through here. Yeah, this is a whole nother section. I'm kind of impressed with uh, Resident Evil right now. 
There's like a whole other house over here. Okay, there's a hole in the wall. I've got a book. Zero, zero, two. Can I open this? Oh shit, here we go. Knock, knock, knock. It's Chris motherfucking Redfield. Oh shit. What have I walked into? This shirt is soaked in blood. Ugh. 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 What is this? Oh shit, here we go. Plant 42 report. Oh my god, Tails, you've been growing out your hair for four years? How does it feel? You could definitely get Viking braids then, for sure. Like, I kind of want to get my beard back to where it was, where it was, like, here. And then, like, do that thing where you, like, braid up this side. But they say, like, getting your beard braided is, like, a whole nother level of pain. But goddamn, would I look cool as shit. That's why the Vikings did it. They didn't give a shit. You only stay in the couch. Oh my god. Definitely. I don't like, like, having to drive or, like, do anything like that. I'm like, nah. I'm here for the pizza, the Doritos, the Cheetos, the, uh, that's what I'm here for. I'm just gonna hang out and relax. Like, a lot of people are like, yeah, let's do it, let's go do this and this and this. I'm like, no, that is not what I want to do. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, if you get too high of a, a dosage, for sure, that's exactly what it does. It's And it's not even that, it's just like you your brain is firing so fast that you get yourself paranoid. Because you just jump from, like, one thought to the next. And then everyone else is like, why is he freaking out in the corner? What's going on? <laughs> Alright, here we go. This is going to break down the thing that's in the in the floor, basically, trying to eat us. Four days have passed since the accident. The plant at point forty two is growing at an amazing rate. Although there are many unknown aspects about this plant, we know that in comparison with the other group of plants, the T-virus has had a substantial stronger effect on this one. Holy shit. Uh, let's see, you love both. Oh yeah, hybrid's nice too. And different hybrids can do different things too, depending if it's like 60-40 or 80-20. Oh my god, definitely. That's the place to get everything, uh, Nate, if you can go back and get all the good stuff, all the Cali stuff. Yeah, definitely. I agree. Like, if I if I want to, like, clean the whole house, or I want to just be, like, super energized, or I have a big task that I have to do, like, like that's how people, like, do, like, a lot of, like, sativa strains and then try to, like, do something. But other than that, I like to... It just depends. You kind of go with your mood, basically. Uh, the T-virus has drastically morphed its host's anatomy as well as its size. Looking at its current state, it's difficult to imagine its original appearance. Nowhere on Earth will you find anything like it. Oh my god. <laughs> People to this day, like, will go to California just to get it. Like, if you can get some of the OG strains from there that, like, other places don't have. Like, it's just different. And a lot of people, like, it's their life and their love and their passion and everything. So they just put everything into their plants. And uh, it definitely pays off. It's amazing. Uh, we've also found that Plant 42 has two main sources of acquiring its necessary nutrients. Oh my god. One source is through its roots, like normal. Somehow it has rooted itself down into the basement. Immediately after the accident, a scientist went mad and destroyed the aqua ring. Ever since the basement has been like a pool, there's a high possibility that it's one of the chemicals in the water that's promoting the plant uh, rapid growth. Oh my god. Crazy. <laughs> oh my god, Nate. Uh, however, we have yet to determine the specific chemical. I wonder if this is the shit that was in the pool that I was so scared of swimming in. And maybe we flushed it down and now we've given it to the plant. So now the plant is like alive. Oh my god. Uh, wait, did I read that? However, we have yet to determine the specific chemical. A bulb-like body of the Plant 42 has been sighted hanging from the ceiling of the first floor. What? We are sure that it used the air ducts to reach the first floor. Numerous long tentacle-like vines are protruding from the bulb. Ugh. We believe the vines are the second means of acquiring its nutrients. When the Plant 42 senses prey, it uses its tentacle-like vines to capture it. After doing so, suckers on the vine draw drain the prey of its blood. We've also noticed that it has some intelligence... When it captures its prey or when it's inactive, the vines twine around the door to stop possible intruders? Oh my god, guys, what do we do? I'm scared. 
What do we do? It says it can literally... It's smart enough to seal doorways with tentacles. Unfortunately, several of our scientists have already fallen victim to this plant. When we heard the stories from the survivors, they all observed one thing in common. When the uniform petal-like flaps open and reveal its vital organs, it has a tendency to become more aggressive. One witness reported that it was as if it was trying to protect itself. Why it behaves this way... It do Wait, why it behaves the way it does is still unknown. Henry Sarton. Who the heck is Henry Sarton? <laughs> oh my god. You can't... Oh my god, Nate. People can't pee in pools anymore. Like, people did it so much that they literally put it in chlorine now. If you pee in pools, you get like a purple circle all around you. They're like, god damn it, all these kids keep peeing in the pool. We gotta stop it. But I never thought about it until I got older. And I was like, God, you're probably right. How many people did pee in this pool? Someone appears to have vomited blood on some of the newspapers? Well, goddamn, why? I can't read anything? Okay, apparently not. It's probably that Andy guy or whatever the hell his name is. Oh, shit! What the... I swear to God, who the fuck... Who just came into this room? I'm going to blow your ass off. Hello? Hello? Get the fuck back, bitch. Where the hell did he come from? Is he dead? I think he's dead. Oh my god. Uh, Tails, you know there's going to be a time when you take a shower and you're still going to have to do that. <laughs> I agree, Nate. I agree 100%. If you ever watch, like, a Japanese home slash apartment tour, everyone in that fucking country is excited about their toilet. Like, I want to have that energy. I want to be that excited. What is this? Can I push it? Or put the book in here? It's not necessary. Okay. Oh my god, Nate, you have one? Where did you get one from? Oh my god. I didn't even know you could get them. Like, they used to be rare in, like, the U.S., but are they starting to, like, come over finally? Yeah, I tried to look for some tails. I couldn't find it. Oh, my God. He put it in? Oh, that's awesome. Uh, tell him to send them over, because I've always wanted to try it. Like, they're heated. You can put in timers. Like, I always go to the bathroom at 10 in the morning, and it will, like, preheat the seat before you sit on it. Like, it's super cool. Like, you can do all kinds of stuff. They can sing different songs. You could have it, like, play anime songs while you're going to the bathroom. Like, the sky's the limit. I'm excited. Oh my god, we're gonna have to get some tails. We're gonna have to try this out. Because, like, they're the opposite. Like, I hate low-flow uh, toilets. Like, but I'll do a, bid a bidet any day of the week. Yeah, tails. Oh my god, tails. You know you want one. Don't even play. You want him to sing Dova King when you're in there, right? You know you do. Is that all that's in this room? It is. Wait, why does that say basement? There's a basement? Wait, what is this? Oh, I can push this. What? What does that do? Hello? What is this? Oh, I can push it this way. Uh-huh. And then push it this way? I can't push it. Can I push it this way? What does that do? Oh, there's stairs. Oh my god. There's a ladder here. Yeah, jump down. Oh, shit. We got the ladder scare cam. You ready, Nate? Like, we are in it now. They just changed the song to some weird-ass fucking Ada Wong secret spy song. Uh, basically because Chris has an obsession with toilets in this game, Nate, he literally has eight lines of dialogue where he goes, Oh my god, the toilet is so dirty in this house. Who could live here? And I'm like, who the fuck cares? Apparently Chris Redfield, he cares. This music is a bop, though. Have you heard this? Wait, let's do the mumbo. Let, here, you ready? I gotta do Chris's dance. Wait, how do I do it? Oh, I have to... Hang on, that's how you do it. Gotta wait for the beat to drop.
I mean, honestly, if I saw the shit Chris did, I would totally dance to this song down here. <laughs> I don't know what this glitch is, but I love it. It's like, when the music blows you back, and you can't handle the music, uh, when it gets you stuck against the wall, uh, let's do it. Alright, who the fuck... Alright, first of all, where the fuck are we? I feel like we're in the Pentagon. Are there fucking aliens down here? Oh god. Hello, plant number 42? Are you in here? Is this like, uh, what is that called? The Euclids? What are they called? The, uh, scary pasta people? The SEs? Are they down here? Hello? It's locked from the other side. Okay, what about this box? I can push it. Here we go. Oh, a lot of boxes. Push it. Okay, did that do anything for us, though? That's the question, right? Oh, shit. Oh, fuck you. Fuck you, game. Fuck you a thousand times. Fuck you. God damn it. I don't fuck with zombie sharks. I don't fuck with normal sharks. I don't fuck with water. Oh my god. This better work. Oh my god. Can I jump? Jump, Chris. No, that did fuck all. Can I drag this? Oh! oh. Hang on. Uh, How do I reset my boxes? I think I know what I have to do. Oh yeah, if I go up here, it'll reset, right? Yeah, go up. There we go. I think I was supposed to pull, push the other one and then drag the other one so I could get two in there, right? That's gotta be what we need to do, right? We're descending into madness. Da na na na. Creepy ass fucking music. All right, here we go. Uh, as soon as you put it in the corner, I knew you would- Oh, I knew it. Yeah, that's just my luck, Ducky. You know that. That's just my luck. Alright, so I'm not gonna touch this one. And let's go see if I can get this one out of the corner. Oh, here we go. Yeah, push this bitch. I got a box. Can Jill do this? I don't think so. Master of unlocking my ass. I'm the master of box pushing. Here we go. Boom, bitch. Get out the way. <laughs> oh my god. Is that what happens when you play this game, Nate? I thought I was the only one. You gotta stay ready for those zombies. You gotta get ready, man. You gotta be in your warrior stance. Okay, push that over here. Okay, and then... I mean, I play Zelda. I know how to push boxes. I'm gonna push this. See, Nate? I can help you with the box pushing in Zelda. Do you see my skills? I know how to push boxes. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Go for it, Nate. <laughs> oh my god. So I made a bridge, but the question is... What the hell is in the water? Dun 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 I love this music by the way, it's so good. <laughs> what is in here? Oh my god. No. No. No no no. No 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 no. Tails, thank you for the bits, but I'm not opening that door. No. I'm just going to stay in this corner. And that, my friends, is how Chris Redfield became a wall. <laughs> oh, shit. Here we go. How am I supposed to... First off, I don't even have my magnum, and I have a book. And the book's going to get wet. Like, oh my god. Oh my god. Hello? Oh, what? What? Oh my god, I'm not- I don't fuck- I don't fuck with sharks. What is this? 
Oh, fuck, there's a cutscene. Are you fucking kidding me? Oh god, predator mode activated. Ah! Why the fuck are there sharks in here? I knew there were sharks in here, god damn it. Okay, we're fucked. I don't know where to go. Why are there fucking sharks? In a goddamn pool. Oh god. god. Holy shit. Yeah, I'm gonna get killed. Alright, I don't know where to go. Chris! Get out of here. Oh my god. Where do I go, Bubbles? Do I go to the right? Oh my god. Can I kill them? Oh my god. Hang on. I gotta take some super drugs. That only put me at caution? Are you kidding me? Uh, you can, but you don't need to. Where do I have to go? It didn't look like it was open. <laughs> Aw, Nate! Oh my god, you're so awesome, man. Oh my goodness. Uh, so I was supposed to go to the Oh my gosh, here we go. Uh, you were going the right way and then turned around. Okay, so I have to go to the left. Alright, here we go. Oh my god, this is gonna be so scary. I hate sharks. Go down? Down. Like, in the water, or...? Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Nope, fuck whoever designed this, fuck you. Fuck you a thousand- Oh my god. Yeah, this is fucking- This is what- Is this literally what you're supposed to do? Oh my god, I'm fucked. Is this what you're supposed- to... Oh my god. Is this literally- There's three sharks? Oh my god! Chris! Open the door! Okay, first of all, how the fuck is this a mechanic in this game and how did I never know about it? I was not expecting zombie sharks. What the- Oh my god, it's those fucking plant bitches and I'm in danger. Oh my god. What is that? What is that? I don't know what that is. I think there's a kraken in here. Oh, we're gonna die, guys. We're gonna die. Tails, we're gonna die. Oh, fuck my life. And it's locked. God damn it. This is so stressful. This is so stressful. Well, it, I don't even know where the plant was. I just saw tentacles coming out. Was I able to run past it? Oh, my God. The words power room is written on the... Oh, this is the power room. Okay. Are there any sharks in the premises? Okay. Oh! Yes, there is. Okay. So... That's a circle, there's an elevator, that's locked. I don't think I can do anything in that room. Shit, when did we save? I don't even know. I am deaded. Can I shoot those guys? Does anyone know if I can shoot the sharks? I really want to shoot the sharks. Ugh, I don't know. They're gonna keep killing me. In the darkness lies your fears. Oh shit, we're back in the pool room? Um. Okay. That there, we'll keep the kerosene, we'll keep the first aid. Magnum can go away, and then we had shotgun bullets. There we go. Oh yeah, Bubble streams all the time. He does, uh, he did Dark Souls 1, 2, 3. I've been watching him do some of the boss fights. It's pretty nuts. I think he just finished a uh, Pyromancer build, and now he's doing, like, uh, like a Blood Magic build with, like, mods. It's pretty cool. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Alright, so did we pick up anything that I have to worry about missing? I don't think so. We know about the thing here that I have to block the hole in the in the floor with Chris. No, we only found red, green, and one other one, but I don't know where to put those symbols in yet. Or I haven't found where it goes. Okay, I think that blocks it. There we go. Okay, woo, that's scary. Wait, that's the whole puzzle? Wait, what do I do, though? It's just eyeballs. Uh, there's a door you can access that needs the candle codes. Oh, I must have missed that door. 
I was too busy getting my ass eaten by sharks. Okay, this one's locked. The map's over here. Yeah, we'll take that. There we go. And now there's a hole in the wall. So, knowing my luck, that means Nemesis is going to pop through, right? A uh, big open room in the middle of the map. Which I think is the bar, maybe? Here's the note file. Let's pick this up. Plant 42. It's got tentacles. It drains your blood. Don't let it touch you. Then I can push these staircases to get down. Oh yeah, the zombie spawns. That's right. Shit, I don't have my shotgun shells. God damn it. Uh, this is gonna be bad. Yeah, really bad. I don't have anywhere to... Oh, fuck. Okay. Well, when you back Chris into a corner, you get stabbed. Ah! God damn it. Fuck you. Fucking bitch. I don't have any bullets. Oh, fuck. Oh, God. Get, run, run, run. He's gonna blow up. I think. Sir? Okay, I think he's dead. Oh yeah, he's dead. So if their head blows up, do I have to light him on fire? Or is he dead dead? He's, he's gotta be dead. Can I push this? Okay, he's dead dead. Okay, I don't want to waste gas on him. Push that. Push this in. Oh wait, no, this one goes to the left. And then... Let's go back to the bar so you can show me where that door is, uh, Bubbles, before we go back to the crazy shark room of doom. Which I probably am going to end up wasting bullets on, because I hate fucking sharks. Hydra face. Oh my god. Hail Hydra. You ever think that you could believe that you could do anything? And then sharks just appear. The door plate reads... Oh wait, no, that door is locked, so how the hell did I get in there? I guess I did get in through the basement. Okay. Let's do it. God, I was not expecting sharks. I should have expected sharks. When I saw the water, I knew I was fucked. Like, I knew they were doing experiments. But I wasn't expecting zombie sharks. Like, not even a little bit. Hmm. Ladder effects on point. Oh yeah, this place. The creepy music. Oh wait, no, this is... Oh, this is the aqua ring. Hang on. This is not where we're supposed to be. We gotta go back to the bar. Because like in Banjo-Kazooie, you can drain the water out of the... Uh... Oh, there's another door here too. You can drain the water and then like the shark isn't an issue. But I doubt they're going to let me do that in this game, are they? What is this? Another bathroom? Oh, shit. D I swear to God, if, it, if you come out of that bathroom, I'm stabbing the shit out of you. Water drips from the sink. Perhaps the valve is broken. I don't... Hello? Water is leaking from the tank. Okay. Is there a zombie in here? Nope. All right. Will you take a residence key? Sure. I could use... I like keys. Alright, there was a key in the bathroom. Who the hell knew that? Now, the two games you'll have to play... But you're dreading your Mario 64 Banjo... Oh my god. Banjo-Kazooie fucked me up as a kid. Like, it's intense. Mario 64 is fun, but, like, there's definitely sections of that game where we're gonna, like, rage. It's like, oh my god, what were the devs thinking? <laughs> um, I was watching uh, a streamer the other day, Nate, and we were doing all of the old intros for, like, TV shows that we, like, grew up for. They were doing, like, Power Rangers intro, they were doing DuckTales, Dragon Tales, uh, Inspector Gadget, uh, Rescue uh, Raccoons, or Rescue Friends. They were so good. I miss when shows had, like, intros. Like, Danny Phantom intro. Or Samurai Jack. 
know. I don't know what this key is. Let's examine it. Okay, key. Oh, there's a. Oh, there's a door. Oh, look, there's a zero zero one on it. Number zero zero one is imprinted. I know where that goes. Hell yeah, I know where that goes. Come on, let's do this, Chris. Back to the bar. Who was, <laughs> who was your favorite Power Rangers? Mine was the uh, Black Ranger because his name was Zack and my name was Zack, so of course we vibed. So I would just run around school yelling Mastodon all the time because that was the Black Power Rangers uh, thing that he had. He had like a really cool axe too. It was like a thunder axe or something like that. I liked it a lot. Wait, can I jump down? Where's my box at? Wait, what? Jump. Jump over here and then land on the box, please. Oh my god, am I stuck right now? What's happening? Oh, do I have to walk on this? To, like, show me that it's a thing? Uh, oh, holy shit. That gets me every time. Oh my god. <laughs> Nate, it's really funny you say that because I've known a couple other Zacks and they were all dicks. And I've literally told people that, like, to their face. I was like, most Zacks I've come across are kind of like dicks, but I try to, like, bring back the name and redeem it. I was like, we gotta be out here being better, not worse. Oh yeah, Kurt's Cowardly Dog was awesome. Teen Titans, I love that one. Looney Tunes was good. <laughs> oh, seriously, you two tails? Oh my god. I don't know what it is. Why are people out here being dicks? Like, you've got a great name. It starts with a Z. It's one of the few ones. Like, you gotta be out here. You gotta be on your best behavior. Okay, that's my safe room. How hurt am I? I'm fine. But I don't have my bullets. Um, where was that at in here? Let's try it. Oh, shit. That uses the key. There's no further use for this key. Yeah, throw that shit out. Alright, let's see what's in... No, I can't go in there. I need bullets first. Hang on. God only knows what's in that door. That's how you feel about your name, too? Oh, my God. That's hilarious. Oh, shit. God fucking damn it. I forgot that the spiders are back. Hang on. We're definitely saving after this. All right. So I'm going to use my little cheat code strategy here. Dun, dun, da, 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 dun, dun, dun. Ooh, you've got, like, the fancy version of it, uh, Nate. Is he coming up the stairs? Ooh. 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 So he's on the... I think I can stab this one, right? Yeah, stab this one. Get out of here. And then, okay, and then you wait here. And we're gonna try and cut it. You can do whatever you want, Tails. For all we know, you're like, uh... Hang on. How do I glitch him to come up here? Do I have to, like, nod my head? There's one guy named Nathan in my freshman Spanish class, and he would get his test papers handed back to him. Oh, no. And then I would get my real paper, and it was all... Eight. Oh, my God, that's stress. That is total stress. I would, like, literally cry if someone handed me, like, an F, and then they're like, haha, just kidding, here's your A. Oh, my God. Oh, fuck. <sighs> God damn it. Fucking spider asshole. Alright, we got this. I'm gonna hit you from the ass. Nope, never mind. I'm gonna hit you from this side. Guess right, bitch. Now run. Come on. Oh, shit! Put the acid away, bitch. Run around the table. Stab him in the ass. Fuck you, spider. That's right. That's right. Chris motherfucking Redfield. Oh my god. And now that other one's gonna come and he's like, you just stabbed my brother! Alright, come up here, bitch. I'm not scared. I'm ready to do this candle puzzle. I'm ready. Come at me. I'm ready. I stay strapped. I'm Chris Redfield. I got flash grenades. Alright, come up the stairs, please. Spider, I'm over here. Come up here. Come up here, bitch. Fight me up here. Is he glitched out? What's happening right now? Spider? Are you drunk? Oh! Fuck! 
Oh my god, he fucking... Oh my god. I mean, I would flashbang a spider if it shot acid at me. And if it was this big, I'd probably burn it with a flamethrower. Mmm, extra crispy. Alright, let's do this. Let's do the glitch. Come on, spider. Come on, spider. Fight me. Come up here. Come up here. Get up here. Get up here. Alright, I don't know. He's glitched, guys. What do I do? Oop, oop, oop. There we- Oh, shit. Oh, shit. He's making noises. What do I do? Okay, there we go. Wait. Is this it? This looks like the spot, right? <laughs> I would. Oh, my God. Look at his fangs. He's got fangs, too. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. He hit me with that one. Oh, that did a lot of damage. I'm poisoned. Oh, for fuck's sake. For fuck's sake. Oh, my God. This went so much better before, but it's fine. Somebody said the blue herb will, like, cure this if I can kill this guy. Oh, my God. Dude, dude. Turn around so I can stab you. Yeah, shoot your acid over that. Oh, no. Nope. Nope. What the? Okay, that's one. Okay, he's in the body of the other spider. Trying to shoot acid at me. Two. These camera angles are killing me. They're inverting the controls, too. Oh, my God. <laughs> that would be diminishing results. There we go. Fuck you, spider. Fuck you. Goddamn acid shooting bitch. That's right. I may be poisoned, which I don't even know what that means. Does that mean I die if I don't take drugs? Oh my god. Hang on. Hang on, everybody. We gotta go back to the safe room. I gotta take some serum. Pick up this shit. Pick this up. We're gonna need this. Does first aid cure poison? Does anybody know? Does this do anything? Should I... Will this... Should I spray myself? I don't know if first aid does anything. Can I examine it? Synotropia. Life safe. What is that? Da -da 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 -da. Side effects include enlarged prostate, heart attack, upset stomach, diarrhea, ear bleeding, potential eye loss. What the fuck? I didn't read the side effects on this bottle. Why the fuck am I spraying this shit on me? Oh my god. Oh my god, Tails, you have you have a famous name now. You are Ethan Winters. You are in the Resident Evil universe. There is an Ethan. Is this a dagger? What is this? That's still the record player. Uh, just full heals health. Uh, so, so if I spray this, it's not going to cure me? Yeah, we're going to have to go back to the safe room, I think. Uh, where was that? This way? <laughs> Oh my god. That was such a weird name, Ross. I don't know who picked that name either. There we go. I think I have some blue drugs. Goddamn spider bit me. Alright, where's my blue drugs? I've got mixed herbs and a serum. Shit, none of them are blue. And a crank. Oh my god. This is not looking good. <laughs> I don't want to die. <laughs> I need some penicillin. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, the only Ethan I know of, and he's a dick. He did terrible stuff. Oh no! Oh my goodness. I literally haven't met a single Ethan in my life. So I have no no comment. Uh, Bubbles, what happens if I spray first aid on myself? Do I just continue to die? Oh my god. Oh my god, I only have five minutes to live. Should I call Jill? Nah, fuck Jill. Jill's not me all game. I'm gonna call Wesker. Wesker left me bullets that one time. Fuck Jill. She's not even my partner. She didn't have one time in this game. I'm literally dying to poison. I don't have a fucking cell phone. Like, I'm trying to walk it off and metabolize the poison. I don't think it's working. <laughs> I think we're fucked. <laughs> I'm just waiting for Chris to drop dead. Oh my god, should I drink the serum? You think the serum does anything? I don't know. Hmm. What the hell did we do? 
Yeah, I'm still poisoned. I'm in red. Oh my god. First- oh, it does not cure you. Oh shit, so I'm just fucked, am I, Bubbles? Where's a blue herb? Maybe we can, like, find one and put it in my mouth? I don't know, is that how that works? Is it, like, aloe vera? I hope I don't have to, like, rub it all over me. I do, Tails. And I could say, you're doing a pretty good job for the, uh, name so far. You want to keep up the good work, because you don't want to end up as the next Karen name. Uh, poison just puts you to red health. Uh, it doesn't kill you. But until I take something blue, I can never get rid of it. Is that, is that like, the trade-off? Because I think there is a blue herb in the bar somewhere. If I'm lucky, I hope. Yeah, Karen and Kyle. Someone almost said it was going to be Kevin, but I'm glad that they decided not to do that. Because I know Kevin's. Okay, there's a blue, green one. Uh, oh, that's right. In the Oh, that's right, Bubbles. Oh my god, I completely forgot about that. Hang on, we can fix this. I'm not gonna die today. Give me this. Give me this shit. Give me that. Open this. I need it right now. Boom. Give me the mix. So someone said I'm supposed to put red? Red in this? Uh, blue, green, red? Can I do blue, green, green? Wait, what? A mixture of two green herbs and a blue herb. So this is definitely a hybrid. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Hi, Kevin! <laughs> oh my god. Alright, let's use this. Uh, use. Ah, oh, Crisis averted. Guys, and we've got the shotgun bullets. We're definitely saving after this. Give me this. Give me this book. Something about blood. Give me this. And combine. Equip. Boom. I got the shotgun. Put it on. There we go. Hell yeah, shotgun power. Let's shoot me some sharks. All right, we're not poisoned. That's a plus. We got bullets. That's a plus. The spiders are dead. That's a plus. Now we just have to do uh, what Bubble said with these fucking candles. Light this shit. All right, Tails, you remember the red one. A strange silhouette hovers in the orange light. All right, this is your uh, eyeball, Tails. So analyze it well. We do have the whole gang today, Tails. You're right. We've had everybody come in. Alright, we'll have Nate do the green one, and Bubbles can do the uh, the blue one. And then maybe together we can put it into the door. Alright, Nate, this is yours. It's like this. Boom. Red light. Eyeball with two little flex. <laughs> No worries, Bubble. We'll figure it out. Alright, so that was yours, Nate. Tails didn't really look at his. We'll have to go back. Oh, shit. Hang on. Never mind, Nate. That's not fair. We won't make you do that one, then. Let me look at this one. Hang on. Uh, reddish light. Okay, it looks like eye sparkles. Yeah, ice, two eye sparkles. Okay. So where was the last one? Wasn't it on the table, I think? I don't know. I thought I found the last candle. Two eye sparkles. He was four eye sparkles. I don't know if I need the book yet. Near the pool. T oh, here it is. Green. Light this bitch. Light it. Okay, green is no sparkles. A strange silhouette. That's just like a, a snake eye. Green snake eye. Okay, I can remember that one. Okay, okay. So now where do we put all these sparkles in? You said by the bar? Or at the, the table up here, hang on. Run up here. And then this is the red one. Red is one, two, three, four, five sparkles. Oh, it's orange, orange is five. And then, does that have anything to do with these balls? I don't think so, I think this is a different puzzle. Okay. 
So you said there's a door by the billiards room. Where the hell is it? There's another door that's locked in an open room where you enter a code. Oh. Maybe we haven't found it yet, then. Okay. <laughs> that looks like a big room. I don't know if I can get into that one room in the middle yet. We do have the room open for 001, though. You could check that out. I'm going to pick up this herb real quick, though. I think we're going to need it. Uh, the room with the ladder symbol. Let's see. Okay. The one that kind of goes like this and up. It's the room directly under that. Yeah, so that's the one that I don't think we have a way to get into yet. Okay. Let's see. I'm going to go back to the 001 room. <laughs> Nate. <laughs> I love it. I always, you always gotta keep it. You gotta pick it up, you gotta get the delivery. You always gotta be ready for it. I don't play Resident Evil without herb. You gotta have herb. You don't have herb, you're just zombie chow. Alright, let's save. And then we'll go into this room, because I know fucking uh, Spencer, whoever the hell's gonna be in here, is gonna try and kill me. Alright, I need my ribbons, please. <laughs> Yeah, everybody better have uh, their herb ready. We're going to need it. Can I combine this with that? I think I can. Put the book here till we know what we need it for. I'm going to keep the first aid spray. We need the knife. Put the kerosene away. And then let's combine these together. And give me my ink ribbons. There we go. Oh, I can't combine them. Never mind. All right. <laughs> Maybe that is if you're, like, panicked or freaking out. I'm gonna have to get a different one with a little bit more smoke if I want to get one for that. Uh, honestly, Tails, we can add it to the list. I think it'd be a really fun idea. Plus, it's something we could spam when the uh, redemption gets taken, so I'm not against it. We shall add it to the record. We shall add it to the list. Okay, can't combine those. Keep these. Let's go save. Use it. <laughs> there we go. Gotta get that asthma saving screen. Pop this in. Alright, we got this. Let's do it. Zero, zero, 001, whatever you are, we're doing it. <laughs> Thanks, Tails. Every time I open a door, Tails gives me a, a bit, and it just makes me excited. <laughs> uh, let's see. Yeah, I think this is the door we gotta go in. Uh, bits are just like uh, pennies, tails. It's just like a one cent. Shit, there's some noise in here. Lisa? Lisa? Oh god, that's not Lisa. That's Jerry. Can I burn him? I kind of want to burn him. Shit, hang on. Hold hold that. Po hold. Hang on. I need to go get kerosene. I don't trust that guy. <laughs> don't worry about it, Tails. I like that it's a clover, though. It makes me feel lucky. Alright, let's try this. Because if I use the kerosene, there's more kerosene here, so I can just fill it up instantly. So I don't think it'll be wasted. Uh, where did I put it? Give me this. Okay. So if 002 was the plant, right? What the hell is 001? Is it Nemesis? God, I hope it's not Nemesis. I hate Nemesis. I mean, I love Nemesis, but he's terrifying. <laughs> oh my god, Nate. I love that. 
I think that's what it is. Hang on, there we go. Uh, use. It's not necessary. Well, why not? Why can't I burn him right now? <laughs> oh my god, Bubbles. <laughs> Bubbles is like, your suspicions are correct. There is a man with a very big tentacle who wants to give you a hug. I, that guy's gonna come alive. Don't even pretend. Who the fuck was sleeping here? This bed shows signs of having been used. Oh my god. What is this? Is that a gun? Will you take a self-defense gun? Tails, is this standard issue for uh, security guards? What the hell is a self-defense gun? Is that a flare gun? What is this? Little baby-ass shit. What is this? Give me that. A su what? Game? Game, you can't just fucking have one of these in the game anymore. Oh my god, so that guy didn't want to be a zombie. Oh my god. Um, it's like a knife, it just breaks grabs. Oh, like you can pop them in the head to get them off? Oh my god. Alright, so we have this note. Um, I'm guessing it's the guy who's uh, tied up on the roof. I had to do it. We ran from those things, helping each other to survive. But Robert started to show the symptoms. I had to do it. Those damn things are pure evil. There was no other way. He would have done the same if it were the other way around. After I put him out of his misery, I had to just leave him in the bathroom. <gasps> oh my fucking god, Bubbles. Robert was the zombie in the, in the bathroom that I had to kill after Chris said the toilet was dirty. Oh my god, he left him in the bathroom. He drowned him. Oh my god. Yeah, these are some insane notes, man. Like, they don't just put notes like this in games. Oh my god, Sammy, how are you? Come in, come in. We just found out who the uh, bathroom zombie is. It's Robert. Oh my god. Here we go. There was no other way. He would have done the same if it were the other way around. After I put him out of his misery, I had to just leave him in the bathroom. Now I'm probably the last one. That was Robert. Who I think is a scientist? Oh my god. Everybody's here today. I love it. Today's been an awesome day. And we're like kicking these puzzles asses. Uh, how could this happen? I'll never forgive myself for being part of this project. Eventually I'll get what's coming to me though. There's no way to escape from this nut house. It's just a matter of time now. Everything is set. All I need is a little courage to get it done. Knowing that I'll leave many things undone is regret beyond words. But this is better than just waiting to turn into one of them. Please understand and at least let me end my life as a person. There's a message on the back. Linda, please forgive me. Who the hell is Linda? Have we met a Linda? Oh my god. Robert just ended it. Robert was like, I'm not gonna turn into a zombie. Just take me out. What is this? Is this bullets? I think it is. Holy shit! Handgun bullets. Wait, can I equip this? What is this shit, guys? Look at this. Robert? 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 Okay, he was making gurgles. Can I get some more bullets, please? Yeah, listen, Linda. Just shoot me. Shoot me. <laughs> I love that little kid. Just shoot me. All right. I know this bitch is going to jump on me, but I can't equip this. Look at this little pistol. What is this little pistol going to do? All right, well, I'm still going with the... I'm going to go with the knife. Yeah. All right, Robert. Don't come alive. Zero, zero, one. Can I light him on fire? It's not necessary to light Robert on fire. It is very necessary to light Robert on fire, Chris. What are you talking about? Oh my god. Oh my god. Like, look at the camera angle. Clearly he's gonna come alive. Yeah, but how... I mean, but what about Stacy's mom, though, Nate? She's got it going on. <laughs> you gotta lurk while you pick... Oh, no worries, Sammy. Definitely. Go have fun. We'll see you when you get back. Um, yeah, let's try and head through this door, I guess. Yeah. Okay, save the self-defense gun for boss. Okay, I'm gonna go put it in the locker before I forget. 
Oh shit, well, wrong room. I think I walked into another bathroom, that was awkward. Yeah, she has indeed got it going on, I love it. A self-defense gun? I thought it was a flare gun, but it almost looks like a baby magnum. I love it. A wee baby magnum. <laughs> Alright, let's put all our stuff away. I'll put the self-defense gun away. And I'll put the kerosene away. No, I need the kerosene. I'll put the first aid away. I'll put the knife away. And I'm gonna get my gun out. I'm gonna bring the gun, the knife too, I think. Oh, it's not, it's so hard. Let's try this. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna take the knife. Just not right now, because I know I'm gonna have to pick other stuff up. There we go. Boom. God, it feels good to have bullets again. Oh, thank God. <laughs> the gun reminds me of how big... Oh my God, Nate. Oh my God. <laughs> oh my God. Nate's over there being humble. I love it. You ever seen a self-defense gun? It's way stronger than the Magnum, but it's only got one bullet. Don't even act like you're not going to come alive, Robert. I know you're going to come alive. Don't even try. Uh, would you rather? <laughs> oh my god. Uh, let's see. Hmm. I don't know, Tails. How much do you like tuna? Also, people are kind of sleeping on it, but if you ever go to Subway and you're feeling adventurous, definitely try their tuna melt. It's actually insanely good. Oh my god. <laughs> it's full of dirty water. Pull out the plug? No. I'm not gonna... I, I fell for that the first time. Oh, I love tuna fish. Uh, burn this bitch. What do you mean it's not necessary? He's right there. He's right there. Burn him. Bitch. This is what happens. Burn this bitch. Oh, fuck my shoes again. God damn it. Every time I do that, my shoes end up catching on fire. Alright. Fuck you, dude. Alright, I'm gonna pull this plug. Pull it. Oh my god, what is that? Oh, for sure, Tails. We all know that. And even if he does it, when he powers up, he's definitely above that level. He's just a master. There's something inside the bathtub. What? I swear to God, if it's another zombie, I'm out. What is that? Will you take a, a... What the fuck? Okay, first of all, Tails, you're the security expert. What kind of fucking key is this? Why is it so fat? Is this like a workshop key? What is this? I don't know what that is. Control room key. What? Control room key. Oh, God, Bubbles, don't tell me. Don't tell me that's where that key goes, because I'm out. I'm not going back in that room for a long time. Wait, let's see if Chris talks about the toilet. Chris, how's the toilet? Is it clean? Toilet paper? They're very discolored. Bitch, we're in the pandemic. We get toilet paper whenever we can get toilet paper. We don't care if it's discolored. We don't got that kind of time. We just got to get the toilet paper and run. Oh, my God. What is this closet? Can I open this? Is it even on the map? No, it looks like I cleared everything, I guess. What about the mirror? A well-polished mirror. Oh, and I actually have a reflection, too. Check that out. There's a reflection of me in the background. I love games that do that. <laughs> oh my goodness. I just want there to be, like, a mod for Dark Souls where we could summon Tails into our game and he would just come in in, like, his security guard uniform and, like, beat the shit out of bosses for us. And it just is, like, it just comes across. It's, like, Tails, security guard, master class, and then it, like, loads the boss load screen at the bottom. <laughs> Prepare to die, bitch. Alright, so we got the key. Let's check this place out. 
Oh yeah, I, I would pepper spray first and then ask questions never. That's how I am in real life, too. Like, I'm not gonna ask if you're a threat. I'm gonna assume you're a threat and pepper spray you. I don't ask questions. People who ask questions get killed. Alright, so... Okay, so we know we have to move the box. But how the hell do I kill this plant? Obviously I need more fertilizer that I can poison. Okay, push that over there. Boom. Open this up. So where does this go to? South. I don't know why it says there's an item in here. It's very weird. You think there's like an herb I missed or something in like a hallway? Oh shit! What the fuck is this? Who the hell just left a blue herb chilling in the corner? Give me that. Give me this shit. Oh my god, Tails. <laughs> oh fuck! What is this? A pesticide spray for flowers. It appears to be empty. Look at all this. Look at all these chickens. Look at all this blue herb. Shit, I'm so over encumbered right now. Alright, alright, screw this. We're going back to the safe room. I gotta pick this stuff up. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, get me in here. Uh, taking a pre-Zelda nap, but I will be lurking, falling to sleep to the- Oh my gosh, and then the tails will be working securities. <laughs> oh my god, I love it. Have a good nap, uh, Nate. Uh, do you know what time you're gonna be streaming? I'll definitely try to hop on at some point. I'm excited for more Zelda. Don't count- <laughs> I had a home in an hour, oh my gosh. Uh, sure, Bubbles, you can give me a hint. I'm just gonna manage my inventory real quick. I don't think I need the shotgun right now. This is fine, I can reload it. I'm gonna fill this up, put the blue herb in here, and then that's the control room key. I'm just gonna set this here for right now while we get all the herbs. And then get more kerosene. Yeah, give me some. Thank you. I know I'm gonna need those later, cause like, blue is the only thing that cures poison. Oh, okay. Oh, wait. Um, oh, it's mountain time. Okay, yeah, I'll go ahead and I'll, I'll take a look so I can figure out what it is. Do, 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 do. It's the other way. This way. Blue herbs. I'll take that. And I'll take this one. Okay, that's empty. Is this room green now? Let's check it. Uh, 8 p.m. Eastern time? Alright, perfect, Nate. Perfect. Go ahead and mark that down. 8 o'clock, Zelda time. Okay, that's locked. Can I open this? What is this? Oh, that takes me back outside. Okay. I'm just gonna drop these herbs off. God, every time I see those sharks, like, in that scene where we have to go, I just think of uh, Austin Powers with the, uh, it's freaking sharks with freaking laser beams on their head. Like, that's literally what they look like to me. Oh my gosh, so I have to go to the shark room? Oh my god. Here we go. Alright, let's do this. Blue herb? Blue herb. And I need the key. Thank you. Alright. I don't know, what do you think? Do you think it's worth saving again before we go? I think we should save one more time. Now that we've moved everything and cleared all the rooms. How many do I have? I have six still, I'm fine. I can get more. Save me. Yeah, I do, I totally think I'm gonna get mauled. These sharks about to kick my ass. There we go. And pop these back in. Uh, boom. All right, we got this. Fuck these sharks. I want to try and at least get past the uh, shark section, and then we'll probably save and wrap up. I'll feel like so excited if I can make it past the sharks. All right. 
to the fucking shark room. Here we go. Gonna kill these fucking sharks. Like, give me a harpoon gun. Give me a grenade. Give me something to kill the sharks. Like, my god. I don't even... Like, I'm gonna try not to shoot them with my pistol, but you never know. I might not have the option. <laughs> All the time, Stales. Like, water is just one of those things that's super weird. It's also one of those few, like, things that can have three different forms. Basically, vapor, liquid, and solid form. And can basically revert back to each form at will based on temperature. It's very weird. And we need it to exist, yeah. Because people can follow the water if they want uh, to figure out where, like, things that are alive are. That's why they think there's, like, life on Mars, because they found, like, snow caps or something. <laughs> oh my god. Bubbles, do you have any, like, super cheat code way that I can kill all the sharks? Is it, like, up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right? You think there's, like, a Konami code? Oh my god. Oh my god. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, yeah, we gotta do the boxes. Hang on. Take... Oh, wait, wait, wait. Chris, push this one first. There we go. Oh, is it really? Can you kill him with the Magnum? I just don't know if I'm gonna need that for the boss. But I don't know how else you're supposed to dodge the sharks. You just move so slow. Okay, I'm gonna try and avoid them. Pushing all these boxes. There we go. Mm, whoever did the music for this part of the game, A+. Plus. Definitely A+. Plus. Like, I am creeped out. Yeah, for real. That's the exact same vibes I get, Tails, is like Tomb Raider. Goodness. I just kind of want to, like, get to the control room and, like, drain the water or something to, like, kill them. But I don't even know if the game's gonna let me do that. Oh yeah, totally, Tails. I would play Tomb Raider. We used to, uh, growing up, my cousin was a massive Laura Croft fan, and uh, we used to watch her play it all the time, so I would definitely do that. I think on Christmas, Steam is going to go on sale with the Tomb Raider Anniversary Collection, and I think it's like 12 Tomb Raider games or something like that. Alright guys, here we go. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do this, I'm going to try. Is the control room in the middle? Or was that that door that was locked on the, this side? I think it was this side. Dun 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 dun, Jaws has detected, we're going to kill you, we're coming to eat your ass. Okay, run. Run, 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 run! Fuck you, you fucking shark assholes! Run, 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 run! Go up here. Wait, is this where I'm supposed to go? No. Oh shit, I'm fucked. God damn it. Oh my god. I'm gonna need a first aid spray. Run! Run, 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 run! Is this the locked door? Oh no, this one opened. Oh wait, no, this is where the murder plant is. Um, goodbye. I don't want any part of you. Okay, run, 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 run. There we go. Okay. You use the control room key. Holy shit, here we go. I love how you can come to this room before you even have the key, and the game's like, fuck you, you're gonna die. Like, that's terrible. Uh, there's no further use for this key. Throw that shit away. Get inside. Please tell me we can funnel the water out of this room. That's all I want to do. Oh shit. Oh shit. This reminds me when you try to help him in Oblivion in Skyrim. Oh my god. Hmm. Okay. 
night. It's oddly quiet in this room, and I don't like it. The warning lamp indicates that there is an emergency. Yeah, there's an emergency, all right. There's sharks that are eating us, and I'm at caution. You know what? Screw it. I'm going to take this. Boom. I'm fine. Whenever a shark bites you in your foot, you just eat a herb, and you're fine. That's all you got to do. Shit, shit, shit. I don't like this angle. I don't like this angle at all. Oh my god. Oh, this is a nice scene. This is nice. Okay, let's just take... Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. That's terrifying. I thought that bitch was gonna come through the glass and I was ready to go back up the ladder. Um... I don't want him to see me, though, but I kind of want to get over to that laptop and, like, try to hack the email. Oh, shit. <laughs> I'll sub to you if you beat this part without dying. Oh my god, Bubbles. No pressure. Shit, do I even have healing? Okay, I've got 30 bullets. Oh shit, no pressure. Alright, here we go. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Do it! Go, 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 go. What, what do I do, what do I do? Caution, in case of drop in oil pressure control, open valve 3. There's a map of the aqua ring. Yeah, give me that shit. Give me that. Alright, here we go. Oh, shit. Tails. Oh, my God. Tails, thanks so much for gifting Bubbles a sub. <laughs> oh, my God. You guys are awesome. <laughs> Foiled again. Uh, you got the map of the Aqua Ring. Okay. And I'm supposed to, in case of a drop in oil pressure control, open Valve 3. Okay, Valve 3. Got it. Oh, shit. Hide, hide, hide. I'm not here. That's right, bitch. Okay, go to the other side. Go to the other side. Uh, uh, okay, wait, hide, hide again, hide, hide, just hide, pretend like you're not here. Okay, run back, what's this? The controls for the main system, everything seems to be in proper working order. Uh, no, there's sharks here. Oh god. Oh, it doesn't care? Okay, I thought it was, like, gonna come through the window if it sees me. Oh shit. Woohoo! I'm like, I don't want this bitch to come through the window. Oh my god. Alright, what is this? An error message is being displayed. An IT10T error. Something appears to have gone wrong while the water was drained. Okay. There's a switch to drain the water. Uh-oh. Pre Wait! No, I didn't want to press that! Oh, shit! Emergency. Emergency. Unknown source of pressure detected. What?! Locking all doors to achieve maximum safety. No, 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 no. I'm out of here. Fuck you. Fuck all of you. We're getting out of here. I didn't mean to hit the button. That was a mistake. I'm sorry. Get me out of here. What? Better release the safety mechanism. What? You fucking bitch. Oh my god. What a bitch. Uh, security, security, security. Uh, this one control lever for pressure, but it won't budge until the safety is released. Where's the safety? Uh, error. Cannot resume drainage. Oh! Shit! The pressure is locked. Release the safety. Safety is locked. Okay, get out. Get up the ladder. The shark's gonna kill me. Ah! Ah! We only have 50%. Go, 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 go! Oh my god, Chris. Chris! Open the fucking door! I literally disabled the safety! What? 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 It literally said safety was disabled, didn't it? Oh my god, we're fucked. He literally just broke the window. Of pressure threshold. Yeah, we're dead. We're dead. You'll have to operate it by hand. Oh my god, fuck off. Yes. Pull it. Get me up the fucking stairs. Can I go, please? Oil pressure lost. Sheltered something terminated. Restore oil pressure then. What? What? Where's Reaching valve three? Of pressure Air shelter terminated. Restore. Okay. Over here, uh, valve three, right? Restore oil pre- What? Where is oil pressure? Oh, we're fucked. We're so fucked. Air pressure less shelter terminated. Where is oil pressure? Oh, we're fucked. We're fucked. We're fucked. I'm assuming it's upstairs. I have no idea. Of pressure threshold. Oh my god. Lever, lever, lever. The warning lamp indicates there's an emergency. Okay, where is the lever? Ah! This is terrible. Oh my god. I don't know where the lever is. We are so dead. Reaching We're... maximum pressure threshold. I'm... Oh my god, what is this? What is this? 
You little fucking bitch. Oh my god. How the fuck are you gonna put a secret room in the back of the fucking lever room and expect me to know that that's the oil pressure jerk off lever? Like, what? Oh my god, Resident Evil. I love you, but I hate you. Oh my god. Well, there you go, Bubbles. Fuck this game, am I right? <laughs> Oh my god. Well, I'm glad we saved. Um, I think I can do it better. I just want to beat that section, and then we can uh, I'll like save or whatever, but I want to like end triumphant. I want to take this room out. Alright, fuck these sharks. I'm gonna dodge them. I don't even care. I thought he was gonna bust through the window if he saw me, and I had to like hack secretly or else the shark just kills me, because I could tell he was gonna do that. Fucking bitch. All right, we got this, we got this. I ain't even worried about it, though. <laughs> I'm like, I don't know what to do. It's like, up, down, up, down. The door's still locked down, left, up, now it's failed. I'm like, what? Like, I think the game devs had a lot of fun probably making that in the game. Like, as a kid, I would be losing my shit. I hate sharks. Sharks, timer, and he's trying to come in the glass. Uh-uh. That's three strikes, you're out. That's that's a no, that's a no. It's no bueno. Alright, I'm ready, let's do this. I'm beating this fucking shark section, I don't even care. Uh, this one. Wait, hang on. Yeah, this is the right room. Yeah, take me down here. You know somebody had to have, like, a microphone, like, around their shoes and totally, uh, went down the ladder to get that sound for them. But it's really nice. Like, they did a good job with the sounds in this game for, like, a horror game. You gotta have good sounds. If you don't have good sounds, you don't have a horror game. So... I appreciate it. They've gotten me a couple times with jump scares. <laughs> yeah, when that shark hit the glass, I knew I was fucked. And that stupid voice that was like, Oh, emergency protocol has activated. You are fucked. I was like, excuse me, bitch, what did you say? And she's like, find the oil release valve. No, not that valve, stupid. Fucking like Navi. God. So what happens if I don't use the boxes? Do the sharks just, like, eat my feet? Like, that's what I think is gonna happen. Pushing around at the speed of sound. I didn't know that the door was gonna get locked. I mean, it was too much to read and process at the same time. All I saw was a shark, and I started freaking the fuck out. Oh, you can't even cross if you don't do this? Okay. Boom. Check out those sick water graphics. Alright. And then I pick up this herb because why not? Yes. <laughs> like, because there's no mechanic like that in, like, any other game. And I wish more games did that. Like, that shit's terrifying. Like, I was legit screaming and running for my life. Like, what the fuck do I do? Um, run, 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 run. Then the sharks come. This game, like, between the whole examining thing and how they, like, if you don't look at items, you basically get fucked. Oh, I dodged it. Hell yeah. Oh, I f oh, I got cocky. Oh, shit. Yep, I got cocky. Now there's blood in the water. Oh, I'm fucked. I'm fucked. I'm gonna get killed. Oh, you can kind of stay behind the shark's ass. Oh, that works. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Don't even look, don't even look, don't even look. Just go, 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 go. Fuck you, shark. Unlock it. Boom, discard it. <laughs> um, so my moment like that, Bubbles, was in the first room where you have, uh, you need the first key and you grab that purple book from the graveyard 
and I had no idea that you're supposed to examine items and like flip them over and open the book and whatever. And the key is just sitting there in the back of the book. And I think I ran around the house for like 45 minutes not knowing what the hell to do. I was like, thanks game. Love you too. Alright, bitch. I'm taking you out this time. I'm scouting this whole area. Fuck you, dude. Alright, we got a first... Yeah, give me this. What is this? Hmm, maybe it'll be uh, more blue herb. Nothing unusual. Can you open it? There we go. A herb mix of two green herbs. Okay. Let's add some blue to that, right? I've got blue at home. I can put some blue in that. What is this? An oil pressure regulator. There's no need to adjust the pressure. Oh, I know when there's going to be a need to adjust the pressure game. Stop even trying to pretend right now. What is this? Oh, fuck, no. No, you stupid but No. I am not having a fucking shark jump scare me again. Ah! Ah, no. Get out of here with that shit. I knew that they were going to, like, have a shark come after me. All right. So there's no more levers, it doesn't look like. I'm going to get the map. Give me this. And then there's also something that this says about valve number three. Caution, in case of a drop in oil pressure control, open valve three. Okay, I'm ready, bitch. I'm ready for this. Hit the button. An error message is being displayed. Have gone wrong while the water was being drained. A switch to drain the water. Press it. Press it. Boom, bitch. Let's do this. Emergency. Unknown source of pressure detected. Detected. Locking all doors to achieve maximum safety. Oh, it does kind of show you, I guess. I just didn't realize. Uh, control level for pressure, but it won't budge. Release the safety manually. Uh, safety is over here. Uh, release. Okay. And then get me out of here. No, I don't want to keep hitting this. Okay, go over here. Oh! Ah! Fucking bitch. Uh, pull this one. Uh, pressure, pull it. Boom. Of pressure okay. Threshold. Now that comes down. Oil pressure lost. Go to the oil pressure. Okay. Da 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 da. Oil pressure. Switches control oil. Press switch switch. Number three, bitch. Boom. Wait, what? Did that work? Reaching 50% of 50 pressure threshold. Push the button. Emergency drainage system immediately. Uh, control lever, but it won't budge until safety. Safety is this one. Lock, release safety. Safety mechanism. Pull it. Pull it. Okay, what did that do? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Alright. What now, though? Oh, shit, son of a bitch! Fuck you! You're lucky I'm not gonna fuck- Oh my god. Did I do it? Oh my god, that was so scary. Oh my god. I don't know if I'm safe or not. Uh, wait, what? Wait, what? Turn off what? The pressure shelter has already been lowered. The safety has been released. You'll have to operate it by hand. The safety has been released. Drain, drain that bitch. Fuck you, shark. The water has been completely drained. Oh, fuck hell yes. Oh my god. Oh my god. I have like heart palpitations. I hate sharks. Ugh, oh, the beautiful green light of safety. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, please tell me they're dead, right? So I, I'm fine HP-wise. It's just mentally. Wait, is this door open now? Holy shit. Knock, knock. Who's in here? Is this opened? It is opened. Just a shark comes through the door and just fucks me up. I'm just waiting for it. Oh, no, I'm not fucking with this. Hang on. Yeah, f first of all, fuck this room. Second of all, we killed the sharks. I'm going back to save. Fuck it. I'm not going forward until I save. Fuck the sharks. Fuck the sharks. 
Whoever put that in the game, I'm coming for you. Zombies are scary enough. I don't need zombie sharks. Oh my god. Everybody look at Chris's ass as he climbs the ladder. It's the only buff that you get from playing Chris. They gave every single other buff to Jill. Oh, thank god, you stupid ass bitch. That's right, flip flop, motherfucker. What you gonna do now? You don't got no water. Yeah, flip flip. Flip flop. I'm not going near him till he dies. Yeah, you just drown. I'm not going near you. Hmm. Okay, this is so much nicer without the sharks. Oh, what is that? Is that an item? No, just a shiny rock. Hell yeah. Hmm, God, what were they doing with the sharks? Does anyone know? They were just making them like super sharks? Like, don't fuck with nature. Just don't. We don't need to do it. Sharks are scary enough as it is. We don't need to make them better. Oh, shit. No! Those are my boxes! No! The water is all gone. There's no way to get through anymore. Oh! Do I have to turn the water back on? Oh, shit. Can you not turn the water back on after you drain it? Oh, shit. We might be screwed. We might very much be screwed. Alright, well, I was going to go back and save, but uh, it seems like we can't get back to our safe box. What is this? This is all broken now. What is this? Like the the T-virus containment field or something? Oh, fuck you! Shark asshole. Is that what you have to do, Tails? I wouldn't put it past this game, honestly. I've had to do crazy shit like that. I don't know what... Oh. Okay. He's just a dead shark. This doesn't really go anywhere. Yeah, we're gonna have to go through the basement. Or should I go through that plant room, Bubbles? Is it worth it? Or will the plant kill me? Because I don't want to die. But we could go into this room. Is it worth it? Five real-time days. I love it. One drop. Over five days to fill this room back up with water. Uh, just don't move towards it if it's there. Okay. I'm gonna run in and, like, try to dodge it. Go downstairs if it's there. Oh, shit. Go downstairs? Oh! Whoa! Okay, shit. What do I do, Bubbles? <laughs> oh, my God. I'm not going that way. Alright, we're going this way. <laughs> that thing looks like fucking Tangela. Like, a pissed-off Tangela. Alright. Let's do this. I gotta find a safe spot. Yeah, fuck Cthulhu. We don't want any any today. Alright, let's go in here. Get out of here. Boom. Oh my god, I hope Hermes Mora is here. Red Lobster Cheddar Biscuit! What's up? I wouldn't be surprised if he just shows up. Wait, what is this? Oh, I can just open it. Oh, shit. Permamora. Oh my god, that part, Tails, where he kills the shaman, it still fucks me up. Oh, what is this? Will you take the magnum rounds? Yeah, do I look like a dumbass? Of course I'm gonna take the magnum rounds. Uh... The materials have been piled on top of each other by the overflowing water. Okay, so I have wet magnum bullets. Okay, the materials are packed up tightly. This place looks like a garbage dump. Okay, looks like a garbage dump. Uh, pretty sure you need something from an other direction before you leave here. Okay. Let's see what this says. What did I unlock it with? I liked this quest in um, Skyrim Tales where you had to get all the blood of the different races. Oh, shit! 
Hell yeah. Bitch, we're on the other side now. Fuck yeah. That's right, Tails. I don't even need your five-day hack. I got fucking backdoors. Jill can suck my ass. I'm the master of backdooring. Boom. There's a... Yeah, get up the ladder. Chris, I need you to get up here and save. I need to get some food. All these sharks and zombies have made me very, very hungry and very, very scared. I don't like that there's blood smeared on that door. Did you see that? Someone, like, wiped blood on it? Alright, let's get back to this typewriter box. Did anyone else hear footsteps? No, I don't think so. Okay. They all seem to contain articles about stars. Stars. <laughs> Uh-oh. You spilled your spaghetti tails. That's a really bad day. I hope that didn't happen. I've had a couple times where my bowl falls when I have spaghetti, and it's not a good time. And meatballs and sauce everywhere. The ultimate crime you can commit in Italy. Dropping your spaghetti all over the floor. There we go. Oh yeah, let's get this save. Holy shit. Oh, we did it, guys. We survived the sharks. We drained the water. We did it. Oh my god. We did it. One step closer to finding Wesker. Alright, let's inventory manage first. Alright, so I have a red... Okay, so I think I can combine green, red, green. The magnum shells... Let's put with the magnum. I'll take the serum out, put the serum at the bottom. And then combine. Oh, I can't combine that. Shit, can I put a blue in there? Hang on. Uh, one time your dad made pizza and dropped it upside down in the oven. How the hell did he do that? Oh my god, that sounds crazy. So all the toppings fell off? Oh my god, that's a no-no. Combine? Oh, there we go. What is this? Mixed herbs. A mixture of green, blue, and red. Okay, I think that's a good a good mixture. And then... Do I have another red flower? No, I've got a lot of blues, though. I could do two greens? That's two greens. Okay. Put this one up here. And then let's combine this one. So this is green, 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 right? A mixture of three green herbs. So this is my mega heal. Pop this in. That with bullets, kerosene. And keep this with the magnum bullets. There we go. So we've got 12 magnum shots. Two good herb mixes. And two blue herbs. Take the ink ribbons. There we go. Uh, let's see. Ups, down. Uh, and the cheese and sauce stuck all over the oven door. You had to clean it up while it was hot? Seriously? Oh my god. How'd you not burn your, like, fingers off? I'd, like, get, like, uh, an oven. Like, a glove. Like, uh, what is it called? An uh, oven mitt. And then try to, like, clean up everything I could without burning my hands. <laughs> oh my god. Negative five, Dad, for that one, for sure. All right, let's save. Uh, we did so good today. Today's episode was amazing. Guys, we did so good. Like, I just want to say thank you to everyone who helped. We beat the sharks. We beat the Room of Doom. We did it. There we go. Nice. <laughs> Thanks, Tails. <laughs> Make it rain. Make it rain. There we go. I love it. Oh, shit. Don't tell me that, Bubbles. I don't want to fight any more sharks. Sharks are annoying. God. I think I can go to the... There it is. Go back to the main menu, please. There we go. Oh my goodness. <laughs> uh, it's the giant shark that's left. Oh god. So that's like the Megalodon? 
Well, that'll be fun. I look forward to that since we had so much fun with our little babbies, little baby sharks. <laughs> oh, yeah, for sure, Bubbles. Um, I think we're going to be playing, we'll do some more DVD. We got Ogre Battles. Uh, it'll either be next Friday or Monday, just kind of depends. But uh, we'll be back at Resident Evil here in not too long. I'm having a lot of fun with it. <laughs> Neptune. Neptune the shark. So there's a shark, a spider, a snake. Oop, hang on. I love how I was trying to do my outro and uh, Twitch decided to crash there. We're back. That was weird. Uh, but I know there's a shark, there's a spider, and the snake we fought. So who's ever doing experiments in this house? It all seems to be on like different animals that they can like acquire. And then a lot of the zombies are actually like scientists that got themselves infected one way or another. And uh, so you have like the renegade animals running around. You have the renegade zombies, which are mostly scientists. And then there's still like some unbeknown Spencer family mastermind that we have yet to find. And Wesker and Jill are still AWOL, just missing in action. So maybe we'll find them soon. I'm not really sure. It kind of seems like they're at the start and then maybe they'll come back at the end. But I'm excited. I'm having a lot of fun with this game. But uh, with that, we've reached the end of the stream for today. So I want to go ahead and thank everyone who's been watching at home. Anyone who's followed, subbed, dropped bits, subbed, anything like that. I appreciate you guys so, so much. It's such an awesome day today. And other than that, I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your Friday. I hope you guys have a great weekend. And I will see you guys in the next episode of Whatever We Play. So until then, bye guys.